Hey everyone, I'm just swapping my glasses because I had on my favorite ones and I know that my ears are going to lay like, bitch what are you doing? So I'm just going to go ahead and swap to the smaller ones. Out the gate. Ah, yes, there we go. And let's turn on the camera. Ah, yes. Hello everyone, how are you today? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. One day. I'll have a stream ending screen. Today's not that day. And Southern Bell, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hello, everyone from Southern Bell Stream. I am Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a Black Court content creator. I'm currently eating as well. Um, I do try hard games and RPGs. I do challenge runs, speed runs, um, completionist things. And sometimes I write about games. Sometimes I write about games as well. Um, how's everybody doing today? Hey, Screwtop. Hey, Kermit. Hey, Pook Pook. Uh, Ayo, Mr. Dirk. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Saw a couple people while I was cooking as well. I saw there was a Joof. I saw there was a Lazy Anna. A Kaleidoscope. Mega Bland. How are you? Goji, how are you doing today as well? Bust a Mover. Ronin, welcome on in. Kowroon, how are you doing today? I hope you're all having a great day. Eating, what a surprise. Yeah, this is like par for the course for me. It's so par for the course. And of course I did drop the ball in one spot because of course I did. Um, Penny Kravitz, thank you so much for the follow. Love the name. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us. But yeah, I'm eating. I'm eating. I actually, um, funny story about that specifically. That was all overkill too. Um, hey Thorny Dryad. Uh, we, um... At my job, every now and again, we'll get somebody new on board, and they'll say, hey, we want to do a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet and get to know you and everything else. And I'm always, like, really awkward and anxious and, like, bizarre about those. And so yesterday when I was visiting one of my friends, I was talking about how, well, I hope they're okay with me eating while we do the meet and greet because I haven't eaten yet today. And literally, Lucky just looks at me and busts out laughing. I was like, that, they want to get to know me, right? That's me in a nutshell. This is Vanessa. She's probably eating. This is Vanessa, she's probably drinking something. Is it inaccurate? I don't think it is. There is a running joke. Um, what are we eating? I'm doing it simple today, Cypher. I just have my last of my English muffins. I have the last of my English muffins. These are the ones that I made from scratch. These are the last two. And I have a couple of eggs and I've got my black tea with cream going. Food and hydration is important, it's true. Hey! Happy, how are you? How have you been? I get that. My mom one on one usually translates to you're in trouble. Mukbang, I love it. Now, see, I'm not a full blown mukbang though. Hey, I Sarah, I haven't seen you in a bit. Currently drinking a glass of wine. Will you enjoy your wine? But what kind of wine are you drinking? What kind of wine are you drinking? But yeah, um, I think even on my Xbox profile, like I got my Series S all updated. I have my new avatar and everything, and it still looks exactly like me. And, um, in my bio, before I updated it, it literally reads, Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm loud. I'm obnoxious. I'm kind of all over the place, but I'll still get MVP, and I'm probably drinking something. And that profile was almost 12 years old. And I went to update it when they sent me the Series S, and I looked, and I was like, I hate how called out I am by myself right now. Why is it a 12 year gap and this is still accurate? You would think people would change. Wrong, not this bitch. Not this bitch. Oh, who got the poppin'? Who raced and got it? It was you all along. <laughs> I think uh, another one that's good is uh, when people, when I'm out of town and I take Lyft, I have my Lyft updated and they're like, let the driver know how they can find you. And my description literally reads, I probably have all of my teeth exposed and I'm holding a beverage of some sort. And I have one Lyft driver that literally was reading it as they pulled up and was like, I appreciate your description so much because holy shit, it's accurate. <laughs> that just shows how quickly you found yourself, I guess. It took me until about what? five years ago almost to come out as ace and I have been pondering if I was ace since I was like 20. <laughs> I was 20 years old when I was like I think I'm ace and I was like nah I'm just not interested. Nah I just haven't found the right person. Nah I'm just doing other things and then I was like 29 I was like no shit I'm actually ace. <laughs> Sorry jokes on everyone she's queer shocking to only her. 
So yeah, it, 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 we were getting there in baby steps. Oh God's mood. Yeah. Coming out was interesting. Coming out was interesting. Is that a Bobby? Is that a Bobby giving me four months? How are you, Bobby? Thank you so much for the love. How are you? Sounds a lot like my own bipan discovery. Yeah, like literally 10, 10 fucking years, damn near, of being like, am I ace? And then finally being Make like, yeah, I'm ace. Not overkill tried to do it and got the zero seconds and then sin sniped. Sniped? Wow, the rudeness. The absolute disrespect on that. I'm gonna look at mod chat and there's gonna be fighting. There's gonna be fighting. I think it is. How are you, Bobby? We watched you on GDQ. I don't know if you saw it and I announced it and everything when I go on live um, on Twitter. But we watched GDQ that Saturday because your run literally was at the start of my Saturday streams. Bobby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you, th no. This isn't your channel. You're not gonna get a bunch of people to come through. Goals get met here. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Thank you so much, Bobby, for the love. I appreciate you. Can we please get some hype in chat for the res- uh, not Well, yeah, the resub and the gift subs from Blacktastic. If you're not already following this man, I don't know how that is. There's like so many people on this channel that I've said, please go follow. And people are just like, la la la. And I'm getting to that point where I'm getting mad. I need y'all to start following the people I recommend to you. They're good peoples. They're great peoples. Go fucking follow them and give them love and support. But yes, I'm still salty. I miss Bobby's run. I have it up on YouTube. Um, there's a few ways you can catch it. I have it on my channel on YouTube. GDQ has it uploaded on their channel on YouTube. And then um, there's a third location that has it. Following Bobby is an A plus move. I'm saying. I'm fucking saying. Lurking, but had to pop out a lurk to appreciate that Tails alert. Oh, thank you so much. I am a huge Sonic nerd. Monster sized Sonic nerd. So all of my alerts are Sonic related. Um, the follow is the ring sound. The sub is the extra life with tails. You're playing Breath of Fire 3 today? I am. I'm still playing Breath of Fire 3. And we're going to go over some recap stuff from last night. Um, but what was it? Uh, I want to say gift subs, humble, and other things are the emerald sound. And they each have a different, um, a different thing. Raids actually get the Sonic mania of Mighty, Sonic, and uh, the fucking squirrel that I'd never seen before. And I was like... How is there a character in the Sonic universe I don't actually know of? This never happens. Never happens. I just got a Sonic statue the other day. I have my Sonic Mania statue on the floor still. Because, okay, I got the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition. Fun facts, I have Sonic Mania, I think, on my PS4. I have it on PC. I got it on PC specifically so that we could do Community Day and have crowd control. Because I saw Bobby doing crowd control and I was like, oh, I have to put this on board. I have to put this on deck. I have to do it. And uh, SJ, who's played games with Bobby and hangs out in the community too, and is a regular here. SJ was watching it and was like, if you do that, it's going to be chaos. And I'm like, I know that's the point. That's the point. It's going to be great. I'm so excited about Sonic Mania with crowd control. Um, but yeah, I got the collector edition and it's a Sonic statue. And it's of Sonic the Hedgehog standing on a replica of a Sega Genesis. And it's not even like the up-to-date or Japanese style one. It's the old school US Bricky Boy that he's standing on. And I'm like, whew. Whew. That's my heart right there. That's my heart. I used to play that game with my brother over and over again. He passed away a couple years ago and I want to play it on console again someday. Really excited to see it being played live. Oh, thank you so much. And that's such a nice story. I'm sorry to hear about your loss in regards to your brother, but that's such a good and touching memory to keep and hold on to. The sound by two. Oh yeah, it's always, always, always Sonic. I had to convince myself off of a Sonic tattoo because I was like, I want something more iconic. So that's why I have the Space Invaders as the cuff that are RGB Space Invaders because I'm also an artist. Um, but now I've gotten away from being like, I can't put Sonic on my body. And now I've decided I want to put a Moogle on my body. So I'm just fucked either way. I, I'm going to wind up with a character I have no business to have him on my body on me. So yeah, 
Not a 2000 error first thing. Error first thing in the stream. Oh, you talking about Twitch. You talking about Twitch. Yeah, Twitch Twitch does that. Ashy. Unmoisturized. Unkempt. Things that we just don't have time for. I don't know why Twitch has been so unstable lately. And it's been across the board everywhere. I don't think I've seen a person yet that hasn't had an issue with this. But it's just the weirdest shit, TM. Um, I'm going to... Twitch has been weird. Yeah, it's been bad. I'm going to honey my English muffins really fast. And then we're going to go play some Vigi games. And we're going to do a recap. Ooh, shit, that butter looking good on that muffin. Um, we're going to recap things from last night for those who missed it. We're also going to recap the plan of the file. So let me go ahead and stop the P4 music that Juf correctly called out. I've been listening to the P4 soundtrack, trying to get myself hyped and prepared for P4 Golden when it inevitably happens. Because you understand that after having streamed Persona 5 and Persona 5 R on the channel, I am morally obligated to do P4 Golden on the channel, right? All right, there we go. The P4 soundtrack is 100% my vibe. It's so fucking 90s. I like it a lot so far. Hey, Mexico. Sorry, I didn't want to try and say your whole name while I just took a bite of food. So that's why I just kept it restricted. And I got it. It's under control now. Every time. I loved my PS1. I still have my PS1. It's one of the few things that I'm just like, I refuse to get rid of this. But the PS1 era of gaming was fucking strong. The PS2 era of gaming, though, fucking slapped the hardest. Like, it's still pretty, pretty tough to get past that. I'm related. P4G is the only reasonable reason to own a Vita. It's true, though. It's fucking true, though. I don't own a Vita. And I remember I got it on the piece. So this is where the start of my anger with Sony and their PS store came from. I got P4 Golden on the PS3 store because we had a PS3. And then I opted not to play it because the PS3 is a fucking toaster. Well, then we went and got a PS4. And I was like, sweet, I can play P4 Golden now. Wrong. In fucking correct. Apparently the PS4 store is completely different than the goddamn PS3 store. And so my P4 Golden is locked on the PS3. PS2 was a golden era for passionate and slightly janky AA games that ruled. Yeah, the fuck it was, half coordinated. Yeah, the fuck it was. Oh, the PS2 has so many good, strong memories for me. So my P4 Golden is trapped on the PS3 store. And I was like, I don't plan on booting this up ever again, so what am I supposed to do? And then, um... Then I tried to find an emulator for it. Yo, finding a ROM for P4 Golden is a trip. Is a trip. Goji, the art in this game is real fucking solid. Um, let me go check on my kiddos. They might not have anything new, but I want to just go make sure things are good. Yes. And so, trying to find a ROM for it was impossible. And I was like, I don't know how I'm going to play this. So then I started looking into getting a Vita. And a Vita is expensive as fuck. Because I think people also use it for like PS TV stuff. Oh no, the PS TV was completely separate. Wait, what? Oh shit! Oh shit! Y'all got new jobs? Hold on! I was only gone for like 10 minutes, technically. Yes, I know what to do. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What's the new gig? Alright, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have all 9 jobs. Hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, I have all 9 jobs. So, this can be closed off, I think. This can be closed off. Jobs are done. Jobs are done. Now I just need all the kiddos, and I need all my rooms. Mm. I'm very glad you're doing a recap because I've missed the past couple streams, but on the good side is because I got my job back. Can we get some hype and chat for employment? Hello? I like hearing that. That's the shit you love to see. I'm glad you got your job back. I'm very happy that you're now able to, to some degree, survive this capitalist hellscape. It may not be to the best degree, but it's better than it was previously, and I think that's praiseworthy. 
is more likely than you think. Phoenix, I stream at noon on- Shut the fuck up. So, oh god. So culture and jobs are done. What are you good at? Holy shit, fucking nothing. You are good at nothing. Yikes. Um, hmm. You can go help them. She's gonna die. Um, yeah, she's gonna die. I just, I'm gonna keep that 100 with everybody. She's, she's gonna fucking die. Um, let's see, what else do we want? I don't care about the gift shop. Uh, the explorer would be nice. What do I have open right now? I have weapons. Hang on. Let me get the book. I'm getting the book. I got the call the day after I got my cat back from the emergency vet too. Oh my gosh, that's such a blessing. Having employment to aid in survival is good news in general. Exactly. We're gonna hype that up. Alright, hang on. I'm getting my... I got the guy. I don't need to know where I'm going. I just need to check my fairy stuff because I forgot what the fuck I did. This is gonna be a constant theme with me in the fairy village. I will every time be like, I forgot what I did. So I will be looking at the book to remind myself of what I did. Uh, do, 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 don't care, don't care. This is what bitch wants. Okay. So I did handyman speed and items ability. Okay, sweet. Handyman speed, items and ability. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that. So let's do handyman ability, maybe? Oh god, no, that's garbage. Um, item speed? Item speed? That's doubled up. Ha, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. And thank you for stopping by. I'm glad you got a chance to stop in. By the way, I saw your new lipstick for the year. A couple people coming out with new lipstick for the year, and it's looking fan diddly tastic. Um, hmm. Do I want other stores? Let's ask the real question. Oh, life sandals wouldn't be bad. Does anyone else have life sandals? Alright, we're gonna make it an item shop. Done. Handle. Done. Handle. I would say these are gonna be the same. Yes. And then we'll put somebody in there in just a moment. What is this? This is a secondhand shop. Okay, I need y'all to clear more. Because if you clear more, then we could see this. This is unacceptable. I need y'all to clear more and then build the shit. <laughs> Not you bitching about dirt. You're bitching about dirt. Get out of here. And we gotta get some more fairies in this bitch. We have to get more fairies. More fairies means more cookies. It is written. Hmm. Absolutely thought it was already falling, but I must have always checked in from tw It's fine. That shit happens all the time. And I always like hide when I realize, hey Saturn Rising, welcome on in. I always quietly hide when I'm like watching a channel and I'm talking and I'm hanging out and I'm just like, life is good, life is great, we're doing wonderful, A plus. And I look down and I see that the button says a heart with follow on it, and I'm always immediately like Do I, do I hit the button? Should I wait? Oh my God. <laughs> and I always try to wait. And I've been called out on the shit too. I've been called out on it so bad. Like I did it one day where I was like, oh shit, they're offline, I'm gonna go follow. Hit the follow button. It was like a five minute turnaround. The person sent me a DM and was like, bitch, I seen that. And I was like, fuck. You were supposed to notice! <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be the first part of the nightmare fuel of the game. I often absolutely wait until after the stream is over. <laughs> right! I was just like, I don't, don't let me, don't, oh god, help me. This is it, my big chance. Alright, so recap time. Yesterday we got a bunch of things taken care of. We tried to go meet God. Uh, God did not pick up, they left us on red because God's an asshole. And so instead we got to meet Small God. But Small God is dope as fuck. And we like Small God a lot, a lot, a lot. 
And I just realized we're not ready to go. Sorry, everyone, you gotta hear the music for a second. We're gonna just 86 it. Um, Zig, love you to pieces. Great, wonderful dude. I, I gotta turn the ship around. We gotta turn around. Well, actually, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. We're good. And so, um, what do you mean, Echo? Um, literally did it twice today already. Oh my god. So, um, we went and met God. They didn't, they left us on red. We met Baby God. Baby God is dope. We love Baby God. She's a recurring character for all the games. Um, <clears throat> we also learned about how a couple of guardians started getting wind of the fact that they weren't supposed to be killing dragons. And so one of them quit. And we had to go talk to Odu because he was holding Baby God captive. And so he was like, well, you have to kill me to do so. So we did. And then he was like, wow, you killed me. And we were like, yeah, we did. And so a lot of yesterday we spent mostly just running around, getting masters sorted out, um, kind of making sure everyone's levels are getting a little bit more in sync, and just cleaning up the file a little bit. And we're working on something that if SJ was here, he would just call the cheese. Still a little irritated that the best thing for leveling is still going out and finding the cheeks. Where do I want to go? To outer sea? Are you sure about that? Why don't you go talk it over with everyone and let me know when you come to a decision. So, like all RPGs, this is your classic moment of, hey, just so you're aware, this is a point of no return for the time being. Because once you get going on this, you're not coming back to this continent for a while. Let's see, cross the sea to meet with God. Even the Urkin would never have dreamed such a thing possible. So I might actually abandon for a second and then go, nah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> you ready, kids? No, not really. I don't know how far it is to the other side, but the engine's running fine, so don't worry about that. All right, so that was Momo, Gar, Ray. Where's my onion? We love a point of no return warning. Oh, God. RPGs that don't do that, I'm convinced just fucking hate you. The wind feels so good, doesn't it, Astro? I wonder what it's like on the other side of the ocean. We'll be there first to see it, won't we? Okay, it sounds like everyone's cool with this. Like, we got a couple of maybes, but then it's mostly maybes and yeses. And I think those default to yes. Let's do it. Across the ocean. Uh-huh. Figures. Thought you might say something like that. I suppose I should tell you. No one who's been out there has ever returned alive. Are you sure you still want to go? Okay. Well then, you're in good hands. Old Zig's here, the best captain in Rapala. No, in the world. If anyone can get you across the sea, I can. Alright, let's go. Who else would be crazy enough to try? But yes, this is a point of no return warning. So it technically does have a little bit of a back door. And by the way, this is a... This is me trying to control the ship. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see. God, the controls on this is like, wonky. Thank you so much, Runic. I wanted to make a good omelet, but the tomatoes went bad. I mean, you can still make a good omelet. You just can't have tomatoes, that's all. We're almost there. Woof! Y'all better get back inside the boat. Graphics. I might be thinking of something different entirely. Oh god, I forgot about this. I'm so sorry for people who might have motion sickness. I apologize. Oh, poor Ray. Oh no, poor Pecco. 
They let them go bad because they don't want you to eat them, remember? I'd heard stories, but I never imagined it'd be that bad. I know I told you. If anyone could get you there, I could. But I don't know if we can do it in this boat. Hold on a minute. Are you trying to say that we should give up trying to get across? If the best sailor in Rapala can't do it, what are we supposed to do then? Sorry. I guess I just don't have what it takes to be like the legendary mariner. Hmm? Legendary mariner? Could he take us across the ocean? It's not quite like that. We sailors have a legend about a sailor living here in the inner sea who came here from the other side of the ocean. It's just a legend, a story. Even if it's only a legend, there has to be some truth behind it. She held up both hands and said, sir, wait a minute. Tell us about him. Well, you see, I don't really know much about him. There's a little town north of Rapala called Parch. The mayor there might know something, maybe. Parch it is then. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, we're, we're ready. Yes. Where the fuck else are we gonna go? Hey, Edelweiss. Oh, God. Okay, so he said we need to go to Parch. This is not Parch. This is just... Oh, it is Parch. Neat. Okay. Never mind. We're Gucci. I thought there was just like a spot above Rapala. My dragon gene sense is tingling. It might be wrong. It might just be looking at aesthetic. Since it's tingling. There's a dragon gene around here somewhere. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's not here. <clears throat> All right, let's do. Let's talk to people. The guild people they buy the fish here and bring us bread and other things we've been needing. Portersville people. Oh my gosh, I can't read half of this. Oh, hey, okay. All right, what you got? I can sympathize with the mayor. Stuck in this tiny town eating fish every day. Me, I'm gonna go to the city and get all the bread I can eat. You and everyone else. All right, nothing there. I suppose it's better to want to go off the big city than the outer sea. What you got in here? Nothing useless. Useless. Oh, actually, speaking of kitties, we have a kitty. The kitty has touched down in the hammock, so we have a kitty stream today. They've been, like, really adamant on fighting me about this damn hammock. They actually have been fighting each other about the hammock. It's very weird. Hey, okay, that's an in. Don't care. Need fishing gear? We got it. Oh, I got a new rod, too. Fuck yes. I don't have any of those. Wait, I don't have a- Oh no, I have a toad and a baby frog. Now I have a real frog. Bet. We're Gucci. We are Gucci. I can't afford any of this, but I'm gonna look at it. What do we got? A bent sword. Thank you. Oh, fuck! Shit! Oh, I want it. You finally get an upgrade? You get- Oh, I gotta go get money, y'all. I literally have to go farm dollars. 
Oh, I need a lot of money. Mmm. Sure hate that. Sure hate that. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, fuck yeah! I can fuck up the Manila one time now. We might be going out on some heckin' dang exploring. Because I need doll hairs. They got a lot of upgrades I could use. I have a shitload of upgrades I could use. Speaking of upgrades... <laughs> the mayor originally came from Central Windia. Maybe he's homesick for some Windian cooking. Eh? Legendary Mariner? If I tell the story again, you're just gonna give me... More of that nasty fish to eat, aren't you? If I only got to eat from me as fish, well, I'll just sit here and starve to death, I will. And I'm dead when I put my ash when I'm dead put my ashes in to make this river. Isn't there anything that can be done to cheer him up? There is. Our staple food is fish, you know. But the mayor, he doesn't like fish ever since he got sick. Now he hardly speaks to anyone. So. Let's go and let's go back to Windia. Because we know a guy. Comes through the door like a normal person. What's up, SJ? How you doing? Oh, we on this now. Yep, we're about to go to Central Windia because we're doing this stuff. And... If people remember, early on in the game, there was a plant that I found that I was like, oh my god, I need this. This is why I needed it. Why do busted villages that can get fish have grand weaponry? People can have bread, but you can be damned if you don't have seal. Alright. Oh god. God, navigating the boat in this is terrible, though. And you can't, you can't park here. You can't park here. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Sorry! Oh god. No, 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 no! Oh, navigating this is so bad. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, the boat is bad. The boat is always bad. Always has been bad. The way you use it, it's on an absolute axis. There we go. And in turn, if you want to turn right, it will always turn right based on where you're currently oriented. So to go forward, you always hold up. So it completely fucks with all the programming we have in our brains of, oh, I want to shift the point a certain way. Yeah. The axis is the axis is absolute. I'd never get that. Oh, it's bad. It's it's pretty bad. It's I would even go as far as saying it's pretty cringe. Especially considering when it comes to navigating the world itself. When you navigate the world, it uses it normally. So like if I want to go forward right now, I'm holding my thumb on like the up and left corner. If I'm going forward now, I'm on the down and right corner. Uh, it's 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 actual nightmare fuel. All right. So to get this mayor to leave us alone and help us out, I'll leave us alone about fish, but then help us out. We had to get him something that's not fish. And in order to do that, hey Quirch, how are you? I didn't see you sneak in. How you doing? How are things in the stove? So in order to do that, we have to make him something. I forget all the, oh fuck, all the actual ingredients, but I know I have some of it, and I know I have to catch a fish that doesn't taste fishy to him.
My brain can't handle that method of navigation which is very well, especially not escaping danger. So the one thing that's nice about the boat is that even though the navigation scheme for it is real fucked up beyond comprehension, on the plus side of things, when you're in the boat, you don't have to fight stuff. That's the plus side of things. Ooh, is there stuff here? Oh no. There we go. You could always make him an omelet. Ah, oh, what do we want to make him? SJ, do you remember what the formal dish is? Because I know it requires a fish, horseradish, and some type of seeds. And you have to travel all over the world to get them. And I forget what the dish formally is called. You got breakfast on the brain? I'm sitting here eating eggs and an English muffin. The only reason I didn't make bacon is because I didn't feel like opening the package. And I mean that seriously. I was legit gonna make bacon, eggs, and English muffins, and I was like, ooh, maybe I'll make breakfast sandwiches. And the bacon's not open, and to open it, it's a pain in the ass, and I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm just gonna have bacon and fucking English muffins. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, bro. Oh, let me guess. You've heard about me and have come to study. To be cooks, yes? A couple of things, Hachio. Hmm. I won't do it for free. I'll think about it if you bring me all the ingredients I ask for, okay? Hmm. So I missed a step somewhere. They just feel like slime snacks. Or bacon package is one of the most annoying things to deal with. Yeah. It's really fucking aggravating, to be perfectly frank. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, I got that. I jumped ahead a step. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna keep this out for ya. Sorry, everyone. Oh, God. So many things. Okay. Mistakes were made. Things are happening. We're gonna peek this chunk of the book out for a second. Part of my book just fell apart. Rip guy. Oh, my God, it's been dead. It has Batman duct tape. Are you kidding me? Let's put that here. Yes. I need to go to make his gorge. I was ahead of step. Although, this guy's a master, and he does your crit rate. Shishu. Not to be confused with sushi. Not to be confused with sushi, which is literally, you know, the same word with the syllables reversed. We went ahead of stuff. But it's good to know that Hachio is open. I just need to bring him stuff. And I have a swallow eye, I have beef jerky. I think I don't have the Martian squid and uh, something else. And yes, Gunsword, how are you? I'm eating, well was eating, some scrambled eggs and then the last of my English muffins. This is probably the best looking one I made. I have to make them again, but then this time I won't use nearly as much cornmeal to dust the bottoms and the tops. Cause all it did was just burn to the pan and burn my buns. Oh yay, Kaorun! How exciting! Are you hooking it up? Oh, I just bit my lip. Mm-hmm, I tried them out. They came out really good. I just, they're browner on the bottoms than I wanted. And that kind of irritated me. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty heckin' dang good. Except for the part where I just fucked up my lip. Good lord. Mm -hmm. Alright, I need to find... Is this horseradish? Nope, it's not. 
So this is a reference, apparently. And I don't know what that reference is. Shishu is a rare delicacy to those outside of Mikis, but we enjoy it often. It's prepared by kneading together the seeds of the salty tree with vinegar into a small, or uh, the shally tree with vinegar into a small ball. Then you add a dash of horseradish, and finally, it's topped off with a succulent first slice of mackerel. What do you want to know how to make sushi for? I know. A lot of this OST is really upbeat. Hey, Riku. How you doing? You want to get someone who hates fish to eat fish? <clears throat> then shishu is the best choice. It's really good. You don't even know you're eating fish. Okay, let me show you how to make it first of all. You put the mackerel on top of the shallow seeds. Hang on. I need, I need notes. Time. Time! I gotta go catch a mackerel. I'm pretty sure I have to catch the mackerel. We need shally seeds. That have been put in the vinegar and put on a little horseradish. And then we need horsey. I have horsey already, but I might go get some more. I might go get some more and squeeze it together. Um, let's see. Doing good? How about yourself? Not too bad. We're getting ready to do another little side quest for the story because the thing about this quest is depending on how well you make the shishu, you'll actually get an item at the end and I want to try and go for the best item. So there's a strong chance that I'm going to look this up because I don't want to fuck it up off of memory. So the mackerel I have to catch. They're going to be caught here in the Mikis River. If you want to try and catch it, there's a fishing spot just to the west of here. Okay. So, mackerel is easy. Where's the shally seeds? Oh, SJ, doing this without a guide is some fuck shit. Doing a part that's later that I won't mention without a guide. Any person who's like, oh, I did it without a guide, they're a fucking liar. They're a liar. No, you didn't. You didn't do it without a guide. You can just fuck right off into the sun with that bullshit. Shally is a type of tree that grows close to water. Its seeds are really soft and white and go well with all sorts of food. There's shallow trees around here. If you shake them, you'll be able to get some seeds. We need to get Pecco. Where's my vinegar? Where is my vinegar? You laugh, SJ, because you know what part I'm talking about. Vinegar is a liquid that has a bit of a sour taste to it. I love vinegar. If you mix it with the shallow seeds, it tastes exquisite with fish. I always use the vinegar I get at the coffee house over in the east. Okay, so. That's by Delonzo. Oh, whoa, got random money on coffee. Nice! That's always a good feel. Great feels. A plus fucking feels. That moment when you have free doll hairs. Yes. Especially when it's like right before you're deciding to buy something to eat or whatever, and you're like, man, I shouldn't order pizza. I don't have no money. And then you look over and someone sent you a smooth 20 bucks, and you're like, I'm finna order some pizza. Fuck yeah. I know where horsey is. So we're gonna squeeze it together. It's more like kneading than squeezing. I'll tell you what, why don't you come back here after you get all the ingredients and I'll show you how. I don't want you to get confused if I tell you everything at once. Anything else? All right, so. Come back once you got anything and I'll help you put it all together. I don't know what that reference is. I love people again. <laughs> it's like, yes. Wonderful. So, I need to go grab Pecco, and I need to start headbutting some trees. Headbutting the trees is the way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ingredient list. So here is where the mackerel will be. Actually, you know what? We can knock that out. We can definitely knock that out. Maybe Bender was wrong. Bender was wrong about a lot of stuff, though. Let's be real. Good baby. Okay, I was like, I don't know how my cat is croissanting today. <laughs> oh, God, I'm back on the reversal one. Thank fuck. All right, so the name of the game is a mackerel. What is that? 
Is that an octopus swath? Hey. Uh, oh shit. Oh, this is a longer bar. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Fucking turn around, you fuck ass fish! Hey, you little fuck! Oh, you motherfucker. I have a quest to do, and I need you to cooperate. I need you to cooperate. I'm trying to do a quest. I'm trying to entertain people, and you're being a little shit. You're being a little shit. You're being a shit. Don't be a shit. Don't be a fucking shit! Come on! Oh no. See y'all in about two hours. What you doing for two hours? The true video game fishing experience. Boom! Mackerel, let's go. All right, I'm gonna catch another one just for safety. I'm gonna catch another one just for safety. Oh, well, that's fair. That's fair. Um. Woo! Oh God, I don't wanna fight this fight out here. No, 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 no. This is too close to the edge. Too close to the edge. Too close to the edge. Need you to turn around. Need you to turn around. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. No, 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 no. Need you to turn around. Bro. Okay. We're almost in the clear. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit 60 meters. I got scared for a second. Although I have, like, worms for days, so that's not the worst thing. And worms are super easy to get. You can buy them in any fishing shop. Because I think it's the first bait you get, period. Bro! Can you maybe a don't? Can you maybe a don't? Very don't make me turn this ocean around. I'm saying! Oh, that one's even bigger. Lovely. Okay, so... Da, 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 da. Got that. Got that. I just need to know my actual numbers for everything. I need my numbers. And bless Vanessa of the past. So I told everyone yesterday that my last playthrough of this was maybe about five or six years ago when I still had my cat Milo as my guide. Vanessa of the past wrote down everything that was needed to get a perfect Shishu. God, I really should just rewrite this guide. I really should just rewrite it. 68 centimeters? Holy shit, that mackerel's giant. All right. 68? the fuck kind of monstrous ass fish? I think the only thing that I want out there is mackerel. I'm screaming my eggs tasted weird and I just realized I forgot to add fucking salt. Oh, no ma'am. And if you add salt after it's weird too, cause it's not, oh, oh my God. Everything, can we get some F's in chat? I feel like that deserves some F's in chat. Oh my god, everything about that makes me sad. All right. God, I need a 68 centimeter fucking mackerel. And this is a floppy boy. Hey, hey, turn the fuck around. There we go. Out of face itch. Oh, come the fuck on. Now I have a leg itch. That's how you know it's try hard hours, so that itches. The itches are prompting. I still have to drink my tea too. Bro, can you maybe not? Very good. Oh wow, that's tiny. Okay. It is weird, but it's better than no salt. That's fair. Hey Hera. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, Davey. I was gonna say, that Davey, is that Davey Young? And I just read the rest of your comment. This is Davey Young, by the way, new year, new name. How are you? Welcome on in. I didn't mix in my honey, now I'm sad. I wonder if this small boy over here is a fucking mackerel. Get out of here, puffy fish. Ooh, that's a mackerel. That's not a mackerel. That's a mackerel. Hey, come here. Oh. They're not mackerels. Mm. Happy to be here. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. 
I hope you're having a good day so far. I think the mackerels are all gonna be out here and just gives me anxiety. Yeah, they are. Fuck. Uh, 68 centimeters? What fucking monster sized mackerel are we going after? Why didn't younger me think that was bizarre? Oh god, that's not a mackerel at all! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh god, it's a pink octopus. No, 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 no. I did not plan on catching you today. Oh, this is awkward. This is weird. Oh, you fuck! No! No! Oh, I didn't- Oh, Jesus. I didn't want to catch this. Oh. Oh, this is awkward and weird. I don't... Can I throw it back? I don't... Mm. 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 Oh, God. I... Like, I feel bad, because I didn't mean to catch this. <laughs> I literally didn't mean to catch this. <laughs> Sorry! Very good. Oh, Very I need that! I need that, though. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Not trying to catch these eight hands. No, Brian Cortina I was not. I just put the face. Put the face. Look at the little nose. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. I need. I need a mackerel. <clears throat> I need a mackerel. Are you a mackerel? You are a mackerel. Okay. No. No. I. I need. I need you to cooperate, please, and thank you. Jesus, the ghetto. Please come to this side. Please come to this side. Stop going to the other side. What are you doing? Also, I need you to be like Lorge. Please? Please? Lorge? Very good. Like, is this the earliest fishing sim in a game? I don't know. I think people said that fishing was in Breath of Fire 1 and 2, and I've never played those, so I can't confirm. Um, but yeah. I God, I need the chunkiest mackerel. Are these mackerels close by? I bet you I can cheese that. Let's go ahead and swing right. Oh, I feel awful for that Martian squid. I literally didn't... Alright, this is a mackerel. Bro! Bro. Bro? Let's not do- mm, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Can we not do- Okay, we should be good. Emphasis on should. Very good. Fuck! Okay. Hey, SJ, can you check that it has to be 68 centimeters? If we can settle with 62, I will totally stop fishing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, that's another Martian squid. I don't want that. This is a mackerel. <laughs> I bet you it has to be one that's further out. It's probably some like nuts. It's because I was too busy talking. I don't have a lure! Oh no, yes I do. Like I said, I have worms for days. That's fine. Um, I was too busy talking. But yeah, I bet you it's gonna be some nonsense where like, the further out it is, the higher the chance it'll be a lure's boy. But that just gives me anxiety. Because then they go to 60 and it makes me sad. Mackerel? Neither of those are mackerels. They're kind of like the medium sized shadows? This is weird. Is this a fucking giant ass fish?
your mackerel? Hey. Your mackerel. Hey, no, 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 no. I can't read chat and do this, apparently. I lost my goddamn worm. But I could just use a spirit after this, if I lose this worm. No! Very good. Oh my god, they're, s they're getting smaller! Ugh, okay. We can do this, team. We can get the chunky mackerel, I believe. What is that fish? Oh god, it makes me so anxious. double check the size and thing maybe past Vanessa was incorrect it could have been wrong it could be wrong I'm hoping it's wrong but I still think I need bigger than 62 oh okay there we go I was like we got one can we not do this, please? I'm gonna have so many mackerel. And I don't remember if they do HP or not. It would be funny if I have like 20 mackerel and it's like, yeah, you can't use this for anything except for Shishu. It's like, I, I but I don't want to make more Shishu. Very good. Fuck! We're going in the correct direction now. Or at least going in the correct direction now. I'm looking it up. If you hear buzzing, I apologize in advance. Oh, hey, look, you must have heard me talking. does have to be 68 centimeters. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Hope everyone's weekend is nice and relaxing. You know, that's debatable right now. Because <laughs> I'm relaxing, but I'm also tryharding simultaneously. Because I'm trying to get the best possible shishu recipe. And that requires me to capture a really heckin' dang chonker mackerel. And, uh... Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just in fishing hell. I'm enjoying fishing hell. But I'm also in fishing hell. You little fucking shit. Ooh! Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. There's a couple of mackerel right there. Please go the correct direction. Okay. You little shit! That's the wrong direction! Alright. Correct direction. Correct direction. Wrong direction. Right direction. Eh? Eh? I have an arm itch. And I can't get to it right now. And it's gonna make me absolutely bonkers. No. No. Okay. Mm. All right. The reason your fish you need hasn't been caught yet is because he's still at the gym getting swole. Holy shit! That's the smallest one. Th that was extra far out, and that was the smallest one. I hate it here. Give me my fucking mackerel. 
I want the correct size. Hey, you're a mackerel. Whoops, I fucked up. I juked when I should have uh, just went straight. Alright, whew. These casts, though. This is like literally anxiety inducing having it all the way out here. Bro. Asshole. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Eh? I was about to say, this fish just gave up. Oh, you want to put up a fight towards the end. Use a hoe for that. You are a hoe for that. Can't believe you've done this. Very good. Oh my god. They keep landing in the 50s and early 60s. I just want my chonky fish. I think he is still at the gym getting swole. On the plus side of things, the fishing's super easy. I still can't believe that Stardew Valley like kind of ripped straight from this. You motherfucker. Get your ass over here. No, no, no! Bro. I can't see chat right now because I have to focus this. Last time I tried to read chat, I literally just lost the fish. Very good. Okay, also I probably missed the answer given because I had to step away for a bit, but that day we know this isn't the first try, not by long shot. BF2 had a fishing sim, much simpler than this. Ooh, Breath of Fire 3, throwback, throwback. Hey Styles, how are you? How have you been? How are the things and stuff? I'm in the process of trying to capture the perfect mackerel. I may run out of mackerel silhouettes. Not gonna fucking lie. God, that's Martian Squid. Fucking stay away from me. Leave me and my children alone. Alright. I was asking SJ if there's a way to actually kind of force larger fish, but I think it's completely random. Bro, motherfucker! Get over here! Oh my god. Because my theory that the larger fish would be out further... Oh, that got immediately fucking thrashed. Because I the furthest out Very fish I have... Great. Yes! I got my 68! Let's go! Alright, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Exit. Exit. It takes the last fish you picked up. We gotta go. We have to fucking leave. Because, yeah, the furthest fish out that I caught was, like, 35 centimeters. It's like, what the... I fought for this? The fuck? I caught him leaving the gym. Dude was minding his business trying to just mosey around and got fucking bodied. Alright, we need Peko now. Oh, god damn. Let's go back to Mikas Gorge because we need to go get seeds. And seeds are going to be from trees. And this is a Peko job. The bouncy boy has been deployed. How many shally seeds is that though? That's the big question. Oh shit! I would like more shally seeds. Should be 27? I should have 27 seeds now? Hey Ilias, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Okay Javon, now we're back to cozy hours. Now we're back to cozy hours. 
Mackerel is good. Shallow Seas is good. I need to go visit our girl Delonzo. Doing great. How are you? Better now that I don't have to be in fucking Mackerel Hell anymore. I forgot how bad Mackerel Hell can get because it's like, it's relaxing and it's fun and it's easy. Oh, but catching all that fish. Vanguard, thank you so much for the five gift subs. I appreciate- Okay, I gotta fix this while it's on my mind. Hang on, y'all. Tails should be right here. <laughs> it's been bothering me for days. And I'm just like, I'll fix it eventually. Nope, now I'm officially fixing it. God damn it. Thank you so much for the five gift subs to the community. I appreciate you. Perfect fish hype, let's go. Thank you so much. And welcome everyone new to the wine cellar. Go forth and share your new favorite black girl emotes all around the Twitch space. Let them know where you found them, but let them know too that if they're bigots, I'll fucking ban their asses. I ate my last chicken nuggie as you caught the fish. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, I think we have to buy vinegar. I think we have to buy vinegar. Mm -hmm. Big fucking sign that just says T. Gar, your party, pull it up. God damn it, I need to go get Gar. Talk to the wall keeper, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and how much vinegar do I need? I need four vinegar. Okay, so we're gonna do another mini game. Time for more nuggies then. I was gonna say, that just sounds like a case for more nuggies. I have tendies in the fridge, and I guess I could make them into nuggies. But I already eat. I've already eaten for today. Well, not today. I already eaten for today's stream. Nuggies and mini games aren't suffering. That's just fake news. I think my muffin needs more honey. My craving has been satisfied. You have an endpoint to nuggies? I don't understand. That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, it's not there. Tendies are grown up nuggies. Yeah, but I sometimes like. Okay, so I like the nuggies if I want just like quick bites of chicken. Or like, I'll even go as far as popcorn chicken. And sometimes tendies are just too much. Hey, say fella, you look pretty strong there. Think you could help me for a minute? I need to get some water out of the well here. Okay, I'll tell you how it works. So listen carefully, okay? First, you lower the rope by hitting the triangle button. When the bucket at the end of the rope hits the water, you'll hear a splash sound. When you do, stop lowering the rope. Also make sure you remember how many times you push the button, okay? Then use the directional button to move the bucket back and forth to get it into the water. Keep moving it until you hear the bucket filling up. When you're done filling the bucket, Pull the bucket up by pressing the X button. You have to press the X button the same number of times as you press the triangle button, okay? And that's how we draw water. If you press the button too slowly, or you don't listen carefully to the sounds, you'll mess up, so be careful. Got it? Want me to explain it one more time? I think I got it. I think I got it. Nope, that's too fast. No, that's too slow, I mean. 
And that's fine. Just redo it. You ain't gotta be so dramatic. I wonder how fast I do have to do it. Please don't explain it again. No. How much did we have? You did it! Um, I just realized is Popeyes one of those problematic companies behind the scenes, or are we good to keep sucking our faces with them? I haven't heard shit about Popeyes. I don't know, now I'm concerned. I feel like this minigame would be impossible for hard of hearing players. It would. It's true. It would be, yes. The game has no other tells for it. I have no idea. My fast food choices are Subway and McDonald's. Thanks so much! Thanks to you, I was finally able to get the water out. I know it's not much, but here, have some vinegar. You got vinegar. Come back if you ever need more water. But I didn't get water, I got vinegar. Hello? Sir, the logic, you're having none of it. Like, what are you talking about? Ooh, perfect. Um, I don't have to do that again. So let's see, how much horsey do I have? Ooh, I need to go get more horsey. I need to go get more horsey. Now, Jamie prefers Subway when I want fast food because it's generally less overwhelming. But yeah, I have no idea. I just know the one that we mostly 86 is what? Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A can eat nails. Um, I feel like there's another one. Wendy's-ish? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't want to take this comp. Yeah, that's fine. Although it's not fine. I want to take him. I want to get him up and moving. Did they know about Jared? I didn't know if they knew about Jared. That being said, like... I don't know. Because Jared is also his own fuck-ass mess. And speaking of someone who's in Indiana, I, I hate that I can say with conviction that none of that shocks me. Are we tier in fast food? Hello and good morning, uh, afternoon, y'all. Hey, Dimples. I vaguely remember Subway had some shit. It looks like a Popeyes vs. Chick-fil-A standoff. That's not a standoff, though. That's not a standoff. Oh, Jared from Subway? Oh, God. That was a whole fucking mess. That was a disaster, even. Because there was all types of allegations about misconduct and, like, all sorts of inappropriate shit. Yeah, Jared was... Ooh. It was a thing. It was a whole fucking thing. Pop uh, Popeyes over e filet any day. And yeah, Dimples, we're tier list in food. We're tier list in food. Although, if we're gonna do tier list in food, we can go ahead and just keep it just strictly to the food. The standoff is Popeyes versus Churches. What, Jared? Subway, Jared? The one that they used, like, for a huge campaign, pushing that people should eat Subway to lose weight? Popeyes would break the brakes off of Chick-fil-A? Yeah, I'm saying. Urban knows where I'm at. I was gonna say, Popeyes got Chick-fil-A bodied any day of the week. Even if they weren't problematic. Like, no. Yeah, CFA. My dad had the nerve to suggest that, uh, in the other family group chat that some of our young people in the family go there, work up the chain, and get in front. No. No. Church has got fried okra. I'm just saying. That's fair. That's fair. See, I'm not big on Team Okra. I, I'm very, I'm a very simple gal. I just want my biscuit with my honey and butter and I'm Gucci. Realness. Y'all have Church's Chicken out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, we have Church's Chicken in the Midwest. I've always had a Church's Chicken available to me because we had them in St. Louis and we have them in Indianapolis. Now, we don't have a lot of them in Indianapolis, but we do have them. We have many, many more Popeye's chickens. As a matter of fact, it's interesting. We have more Popeye's than we do Chick-fil-A. And we're like a super duper Bible Belt state. Like I keep thinking of Twist Jr. and Jared Leto. Look it up! Look up Subway Le uh, Jared. Honey, butter, and something to drink, I hope. I don't have that. In I don't have one in Philly. Oh, I hate that. Mm -mm. 
Don't like that. Don't like it one bit, sure don't. Alright, so we need horsey. Oh fuck! Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, you you know who Jared is. <laughs> the church is here, burn the biscuits, and I haven't been back since. Yo, what do you mean you burnt the biscuits? Get out of here! You just made Ryu mad with that shit. Ryu legitimately crit over burnt biscuits. I want y'all to know that. One of the Google autofills said Jared prison. I'm feeling very oop. Oh yeah, he got locked up. I think. I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did. It was bad. It, it was pretty trashed here. Why do we keep resetting? Team! Get into motherfucking attack formation. What the fuck are y'all doing? Alright, let's go get Horsey. Uh, this is not the way to Horsey. This is not the way to Horsey. Yeah, he was carted away to prison right away. Yeah, that was a mess. It was a whole mess. I'm putting more honey on my fucking a muffin with that said. I still have tea to drink. Oh, this poor bear. Okay, there's a debate for you. Which honey is superior? The bear or the beehive? Because I like the design and the aesthetic of the bear, but the beehive is just more practical. How close are we to the cheese? I need two more levels. I purposely put it on Astro because of the fact that He's right now in a good enough spot that I can I can take the L. If I wanted to beeline through it, I would have threw it on like Ray and Peko. The cheese? We're not talking about it. Your team beehive? I can respect it. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Melted butter and then honey. Every time. Always. Always. Like, if my biscuit or my English muffin does not have a distinct and pristine layer of butter that just permeates the biscuit itself, I'm not eating it. Not eating it. It has to have the gooey butter. The bear is cute, but the beehive is nice and sleek, and I appreciate that. Exactly! I love the bear, but like when it gets to the last of the honey like this, it's such a pain in the ass because you can't turn it upside down to get all the honey out. You can't turn it upside down to get all the honey out. And then the beehive is just, it's simple, but it gets all my honey. Yo, like even in this muffin, there's an entire layer that's like off yellow because it's just nothing but fucking butter. the other way like starting the bear jar is really nice because it has all those extra it has all those extra curves and everything so when you're trying to squeeze it at the beginning it's dope beginning honey bear dope squeezable usable a plus as soon as you get to the last of the honey it's like i fucking hate this design mm -hmm. Trying to squeeze the end of the bear fucking sucks. It's like, oh my god. I just I just want honey. <laughs> the funny thing about it is I already have my I already have my beeho a uh, beeho. I already have my beehive preloaded. It's already in the kitchen ready for this one to be empty so that I can start using the beehive again. But I had to buy the bear because they were out of beehives. The jar should behave correctly if it doesn't want to be oh my god, Nisimbi, please. Alright, I want one more horsey. Because then I think I have enough for everything. Honey in a jar with the honeycomb? See, we're not bougie enough for that here in Indiana. Indiana doesn't have nice things like that. And then the closest we ever got to it is uh, whenever we would have the farmer's market and we would have places that offered up whipped honey. But the whipped honey is weird and they never ever want to just give you straight up whipped honey. They always give you some fuck shit where it's like, oh, hey, yeah, we're gonna give you whipped honey and it's whipped with like all these fruits. And I'm like, I just want honey. I don't need all the extra. I can put fruit in my pastries and shit. I just want honey. 
I gotta go, go to food co-ops for that actual beehive honey. That's what I'm saying. Like, we try to get people to do it here, and it's always, like, questionable on its best day. On its best fucking day. Because people here, like, they, they try, TM. But that's about all I can give them. Alright, we got all our horsey that we need. Give me the bees. Pets, 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 the bees. That's, um, oh, there was someone who linked it in my Discord. There's actually a local, not local, but an actual, uh, all black ran honey, um, beehive joint. And I want to try some of their honey. And they sell it by the gallon. And I looked and I was like, ooh, I want a gallon of honey. But also, would I use that much honey? And then I think about all the beehives and honey bears I've gone through, and I'm like, I probably would use that much honey. I probably would use that much honey. Because that's also my sugar alternative. Just because your body can process it better. I love a gallon of honey. Oh my god. Controversial take in the realm of breakfast condiments. I can never stand marmalade. I've never had marmalade, so I have no fucking stance on it whatsoever. Though I tell you what, I got hip to, um... Uh, when I started working, when I was serving tables at the steakhouses, when I got introduced to Bernays and Hollandaise, and I had never heard of what they were prior to that, and then they're like, oh yeah, that's the stuff they put on like breakfast sandwiches. I was like, wait, this tasty egg condiment is what they were putting on breakfast sandwiches that I avoided all those years? Yeah, that's what it is. And I was like, they just put eggs on their eggs? And I've been avoiding this? This person's a genius. <laughs> My mom wanted a massive jar of honey with the honeycomb in it like three years back and we're only halfway through it. Oh, honey. I love honey. Marmalades are good. I prefer jam, but a good marmalade is hard to beat. Make mead. Hey, DC. How are you? How are the things and stuff? And Hex Unplugged, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Thanks for joining us. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I've never had a marmalade, though I had to get hip to the difference between jelly and jam, and I am very much firmly team jam now. I want them to hit that one first. I can't get marmalade like I can't eat pineapple on pizza. That's fair. I don't eat pineapple on pizza because I don't like pineapple. I had a honeydew and mint meat that was sold at a beer store down the street and I died. That's not true because you're still talking in chat. My mom makes marmalade and tea. Ooh. Team jam. Yeah, like I can do jelly. Jelly is fine. But after having good jams, I'm like, I need that thickness though. I need the thick. Sorry. I need, the, I need it. I need it to live my best life. Oh, God damn it. I was hoping to get out. Just like in Guilty Gear, Ness is all about the jam. It's true. Even though I'm like so bad. Well, I'm not bad on jam. I'm very mediocre on jam. It is very evident that I'm rusty. Because if you listen to me talk about fighting games, I know what I'm talking about. Oh, Bobby's here, by the way. Let me see if you can summon him. Let me see if he's here and he can summon him. He's like quietly working on a speed run. But yeah. Um. If you watch me play a fighting game, it's super evident that I know what I'm talking about and that I used to play them, but then when you watch me play, it's evident that I'm rusty as fuck. I think that's an accurate assessment. And you assessment. I think that's a fair assessment. Oh. The best meet I think I've had to date was when I was working at Gen Con. And I was doing a I worked a I worked a convention floor as an NPC in True Dungeon, which is kinda like IRL Dungeons and Dragons more or less. Just to keep it easy and simple to explain. And um, I was an NPC one year, and a guy in his group, his party, so to speak, his party came through, and they were like, oh, we have gifts for all of the NPCs for all the hard work and everything you guys do. And I was like, okay, cool. What's up? And they are like, well, we've got you some coupons. We've got you some gift cards to like a couple of our favorite restaurants. And then we also have mead. And I was like, but how does the mead work? And they are like, oh, well, we have little sample cups and everything. Would you like a swig? And like, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is in the guidelines for being a, uh, 
a, for a volunteer for True Dungeon, it says things like, oh, you can't get inebriated on the floor. You can't do this, you can't do that. And even all the showrunners and like the main leaders and stuff are like, hey, let's, let's just go ahead and be honest with everybody. Just don't show up to work fucking sloshed. That's all we really want. And people were, one year, people asked us, like, what if the people walking through offer us alcohol? And all the coordinators look at each other and they're like, just don't work your shift sloshed. <laughs> and so, dude came through with some mead and it was like this really, really strong honey mead. No, oh, it's so good. Alright, what you got? You got everything, right? Alright, then I'll tell you how to make sishu. Slicing the mackerel. Those mackerel slices will be larger or smaller depending on how big a fish you catch. The bigger the fish, the larger the slices will be. Anything else? The more shallow seeds you use, the bigger the ball will be. I know that's obvious, but just because you can make something big doesn't mean you should. The trick is to make sure the size of the ball matches the size of the mackerel slices. That's really important. <laughs> Um, let's see about that vinegar. I love that sloshed is the metric. Yeah, the metric is being don't be sloshed on the floor. Because like, as someone who's worked in Tendit Bar for eight years solid, like I started out waiting tables as a joke and then it wound up saving me through most of my fucking master's degree program and everything. So bless up to that joke going right. Um, after we got through everything, I wound up with eight years under my belt of waiting tables, tending bar, and then working directly firsthand with sommeliers and like professional bartenders. And I could even still to this day, it's kind of why I drink wine on stream. I can be three glasses of wine in and I can still play the game perfectly fine. Now granted, Sinziek as a mod will tell you, I'll be fine, but how I talk and stuff may not be fine, but functioning speaking, I'll be fine. And it's, it's... Having her, that main coordinator, make that the metric would always just make me giggle because I'm like, <sighs> okay, <laughs> if you say so. But then again, I have walked through, like we'll get little breaks and stuff in between or we call them bubbles. And like, I'll be like a beer in, someone will stop by and be like, here's some mead. And I'm like, just like mosing around cruising everything is cool and then i walk past that poor drow that is hammered out of her mind and i'm like oh baby you drank too much ooh, ooh, ooh. oh no and she's just like is it obvious i'm like mm, it's a good thing your face is painted purple because i'm afraid of how red you probably look oh 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 baby, sit down, here's some water. <laughs> oh my god. As a general rule, you should keep the ratio of vinegar to shallow seeds at about a quarter or so. Mm-hmm, makes sense. Anything else you need to know? How much horsey? Also never had horseradish until I worked in a steakhouse. Uh, that reminds me when I used to work concerts. Oh god, yeah. I can only imagine how fucking hammered people were at concerts. I've worked with so many drunk-ass bartenders. Like, it is amazing to see behind the scenes how many times people are just drunk. There's great meadery here when we, we try to visit, uh oh every couple of years. Couldn't go last year, but maybe by the fall. Maybe, ideally, possibly. Though some of these rollouts for the vaccine and stuff are fucking terrible. And I'm just like, oh, rah, rah, rah. Balance it with the amount of shallow seeds and mackerel you used. If you use a lot of mackerel, then use a lot. And if you have more shallow than mackerel, not so much. These fucking vague ass hints. The most important thing you have to remember is that as you knead it, the shallow will shrink. Once One good knead means you'll lose about one shallow seed. My mother taught me that you shouldn't knead it more than twice. Anything else you want to know? That's like the only concrete thing you get. Everything else is like super fucking vague. The bigger the shishu, the better, but the more important than the size is balance. If we say the macro is 10, hang on, I want to see this. I want to check this map. Then the shali will be eight. The vinegar to be two, and the horsey to be four. 
All right, so let me cross check that with my math. We also weren't supposed to smoke, but I mean, when Ghostface Killer offers you a blunt, right, exactly. Like, when I went to go see Queens of the Stone Age in Chicago, they had a strict all over every fucking entryway, no smoking sign, and to see fucking Josh Hom come out on stage, literally with a blunt on his lip, I was like, well, <laughs> who, are you really gonna go up and tell him? Are you really that bold? Are you about that life? You're not, <laughs> you're not. You're not! You, you're not gonna tell him, sir, you have to put that out. He'll look you in the face and be like, bitch, I'll walk off this stage. <laughs> it might be hard to understand from this exp explanation, but you'll get the hang of it once you try it. I wanna check something. So this went to that. Actually, I wanna check the one on my phone. Like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna tell them they can't smoke? Really, bitch? No, that's not how that works. How many Shelly seeds? So it technically does give you the recipe, and then it's assuming that you caught a 34 centimeter mackerel. Like you just went with the, the simple and basic one. Tell that man he can't do it. So is this a cringy minigame you warned us about yesterday? Um, I think it was the well that people were talking about. I wasn't talking about this one though, because I'll be honest, I completely forgot this game existed. I completely forgot this one existed. I remembered that I had to make stuff, but I forgot that I had to like catch the fish, go get seeds with Pecco, get the vinegar with um, Gar and all that stuff. No, no, the minigame I'm talking about is not, it's not quite here yet. Oh, but it's close. Speaking of smoke, it's about that for me. Did they ever out this soundtrack as a full album? Um, it's on Spotify. They do have it on Spotify. I don't know if it's available for purchase or anything, but I know for a fact that I've played it at the starter stream many a times. It's against the law to refuse. Yeah, like, and there's been so many cases. Oh, when I went to go see Talib Kweli, who, 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 pretty much the entire Vogue, uh, the Vogue is the name of the venue, the entire Vogue, just smelt like fucking weed and people were like i thought you couldn't smoke in here and i'm like come on y'all scary expectation is maintained yeah I, uh, there's a mini game that's coming up that i i abhor and it has to deal with this goddamn boat is why If you're so inclined, you can buy it digitally from Amazon too, but well, yeah, Spotify. I've been that person. I've told guest speakers and folks they can't do stuff. Woo! How did that work out? Because I know some people, they get complexes about that shit. Where they're just like, I'm famous, I can do whatever I want. And then there's other people who are like, yeah, okay, okay, that's my fuck up. I'll, I'll stand down. Saw Talib in Ohio once, 420 was heavy, J. Cole's opening for him. Woo! Woo! Like literally Southern Bell, just reading that, I can I can taste the residual weed just reading that comment. Oh my god. Our staple foods fish, blah 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 blah. I was on a work trip presentation next morning. I had to watch oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, I want to make this man some food. The mayor is so stubborn. Is there no way to get through to him? What? Feed him fish? The mayor? Shishu? Hmm. But would it work? Without my- Oh god, Southern Belle, I'm so sorry. We won't know unless we try, I guess. Let's try it then. We're gonna save state in case I fuck this up. Woo! 
All right, let's see if this works. What's this? It's shishu because it's sushi backwards technically, and they didn't want to say, um, what's the word? It's not sashimi. I can't think of what it's called. This, this is shishu. <laughs> this man's crying. <laughs> Woo! That horse rider's got a good kick to it. Ashu Sichu plan worked. The mayor's in high spirits again. I love it because it does like the huge flag and it shows him crying over the shishu. Oh my gosh. It's sushi backwards, yeah. Because it's a S-H-I and they put the S-U at the end. Now I want sushi. God, good sushi would be so fucking dope. Tomorrow we're going to be doing our favorite uh, chicken joint. And then I think next week that's the play. It'll be my turn to buy it so I'll be able to have control over it. Because usually when it's not my turn, there's like a couple of side eyes and bartering. When it's my turn, I don't fucking give a shit. I'm just like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm going to spend the money. I'm going to go buy some sushi. Fuck it. Oh, good. I just came in in time. Hey, Honorian. Is that the best result on the first try? Is that a GG? I think so. I think so. I don't fuck around with Shishu. I always want to get that um on the first try. And you want me to tell you about the legendary Mariner? Normally, I tell you to get such foolish not a notions out of your head but I owe you for the shishu don't I here take this I got sea charts that shows all the currents in the sea around here if you follow it you should be able to get through the cracks to the east of here this is the mini game I don't like that's where you'll find him the legendary mariner East of the village, you'll have to do some searching. Thanks to you, the mayor has recovered his vigor. Thank you so much. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Survey says... First attempt, we're good. That is a GG that you get in chat, SJ. We got the first attempt. So much of this game is making me realize I was not as smart as I thought I was when I played this game. Oh, that's not true. That's not true. I also have, like I said, I have guides and shit. And this is why whenever people come through with the snideness about guides, I always get really shitty about it. Because it's like, you know, there's nothing wrong with wanting to like find everything or get shit done correctly or things like that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have like hints and tips and all those things. I get particularly incensed when people slide through and want to be like, oh, oh, use the guide to get everything in that game. Well then you're not- shut the fuck up, dude. No one cares that you found everything on your first fucking attempt with no guide, with no help. No one gives a fuck. People give a fuck about you getting it on the first attempt as much as they give a fuck about me getting all these platinum trophies. I really just get it because I want them for myself. That's it. That's what I like to do. I like to- I like to get platinum trophies. And sometimes to get my platinum trophies, I use a guide in this bitch. And then I write guides. And then you fucks who lie and say you never use guides wind up using my guides. Assholes. Getting the shaman's ring is hard with the damn guide? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of, lowers AP usage by 25%. Well, <laughs> we know who gets this. I ain't got the time to be doing save states and trial and error. I got work the next morning. And that's another thing, Riku, that people forget when it comes to guides. Guides help respect the gamer's time. It helps respect your time. We are not, not a single fucking person in this chat, I can guarantee, is under the age of 16, only doing like one or two extracurriculars and their homework. We ain't got time like that. We can't afford or do the thing where we stay up for fucking... 72 hours straight trying to do and draw and engage shit and then hope that we get it all figured out um love boats hey Kellith. i use wiki and it helps my enjoyability of any game i play period yeah so a guide it is also many of these retro games i feel like purposely included hidden things so they could spell a cell physical guides oh yeah 100 percent. we have a birth oh wait time i didn't read all the news new merch and a birth 
All right, let's get to work. Even when I was 16, I didn't have time like that. I'm saying, like, I just don't, I don't know. It, it, it's weird shit to me. Like, I like doing all the stuff I, yes, she's so good. Oh, we have 99 food. Uh, I was kidding. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Um, you, however, are going to go down here and help them clear. Because I don't know if... You know what? I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to take a gamble. I'm going to take a gambly poo. But yeah, like, even as someone who, like... In hindsight, I wasn't as busy when I was younger as I am now, for obvious reasons, but I was still pretty busy, and even then I used guides and shit. Like, I don't know. It just, it's weird to me. The, the flex and being like, look at all this stuff I did without help is just very bizarre. I'm gonna put you up here for a second. Oh, I need to check new merch. Uh, intentional busy work is like, okay, why though? As I got older, I started to kind of filter in games that felt like they don't respect my time. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Ick fucking exactly. And then being shooketh and shocked that people... Hmm. I bet you that's for the girls. That's for the girls. And then being shooketh and shocked that people are like, wait, you didn't play through Tales of Vesperia 18 times? It's like, bro... With what time? I don't have that kind of time right now. Oh, shit. I want it. And it's only one difference? Let's go. All right, do I have anything that I can sell? Because I would like to get the royal dagger. Whoops. Old girl not there, because she right here. <laughs> no, I respect the hell out of games where I feel I don't have a need... Uh, for a guide. Yeah, things that are well laid out and stuff for you like that, it's perfectly fine. Um. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Sorry. Remember to unlock a Final Fantasy X ultimate weapon? You have to avoid getting struck by lightning 99 times in a row. How little fuck would you know to do that? Not just that, Davey. The one that I always, every single fucking time, fall back on is never ever forget that in order to get the best weapon for Steiner in Final Fantasy IX, you had to make it to the final disc of the game in 12 hours. Why in the fuck would you think of that? <laughs> Why the fuck would you think of that? We're gonna go do some grinding. We're gonna do a little bit of grinding, because, um... I think everyone deserves to see some smackins. They deserve to see some smackins. It's just, it's just you, you didn't think of that. So don't lie through your teeth and say you thought of that. Cause you didn't. You fucking didn't. You didn't. You didn't. Oh, I want to check and see what Mackerel does. I love Tales of Symphonia. I'm due to play it again on stream. Maybe sometime this year, given everything. I'm playing that shit with a guide. Anyone who cries about it can fight me. Um, let me see. Like, here's the thing. Guys don't make you more skilled. They just tend to speed things up. So I never understood the hate for guides. Eh, just elitism fuck shit. It, it's elitism fuck shit. Every time. Each time. I'm actually gonna go through the rest of my healing herbs. Let me just burn through them. I got the horsey way early. What's the hourglass do? Yeah, you can't use it for anything else. You just have mackerel. <laughs> it's just there. I also like games that have network things like P4 Gold and P4 Sun 5 do, where you can see what people did and go off the stats. Yes. Where like you're deciding what you want to do for the day and you can see it's like, oh, well maybe I'll work on relationships. And you check the stats and I'll cross the board. They're like, nah, we did the palace today. And it's like, oh, oh, maybe, maybe I'll do the palace. Or you can use that even as like a thing to use to go counter against things, right? When it comes to 14, I pull out a guide unless I'm on a new content day two, three. 
I also replayed their original- hang on, I'm missing some stuff. I missed a comment somewhere. I also replayed the original Legend of Zelda again and forgot how to- in order to find the hearts, you had to just randomly put fires on every bush in goddamn game. I don't want to play games like a QA tester. Yeah, exactly. Ick, fuck, exactly. I mean, retro games are one thing, but fighting games, MMOs, uh, League of Legends, who's playing accessibly without, uh, game and phone guides? I mean, but why exclude retro games? Why not? This is retro, and I have a guide on the floor, and I have that same guide on my Kindle. If anything, I think retro games probably set the trend for guides much better than anything else that you have out there. Retro RPGs especially set that trend, because a lot of the retro RPGs had hidden shit in it left, right, and nine ways from sideways. And people trying to be like, oh yeah, I didn't need a guide for that. Really? Really? You knew in Spyro to randomly and arbitrarily fly around a crag in an almost perfect platform setup to get that dragon in that world? You just knew to do that? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No. Gar, please. Alright, we're gonna try and get cheeked. We're gonna try and get cheeked. Get them cheeks. Oh wait, get them, get that hydrate. Also, early RPGs didn't have maps for fucks. Oh God, so, okay. Realness, I never considered that and that's a very, very valid point. So many fucking early RPGs did not have fucking maps. That's one of the biggest reasons the biggest reasons I never finished Landstalker, because I never knew where the fuck I was going and I never had a guide. Or to get the map, you had to buy the guide. Mmm! Oh! The tea is lukewarm, but that's fine, because now, like, the creamer and honey I use is absolutely exquisite. People want to be elitist over 20 year old games and it's baffling and boggling. People want to be elitist, period. I mean, anyone who follows my Twitter has seen me straight go head to head with a lot of these Dark Souls bros who want to be like, you shouldn't have difficulty sliders. You should just learn to get good. And I'm like, I've beaten a game at soul level one and I'm a challenge runner for the game. I know this is gonna hurt your hold your your soul to hear, but I'm better at the game than you. By the way, add difficulty options to Dark Souls. Like what the fuck is wrong with you people? It's so fucking weird and embarrassing. I don't want people to enjoy the games I enjoy. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what? What the fuck kind of flex are you doing? Is this a flex? Did you flex and hurt yourself in your confusion? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, shut up. <laughs> oh, you yeah, well, Jesus. The days of having to make the taste. Oh, wait. The days of having to make your own maps and RPGs, what fun? Not really. Oh, I, um, when I was going through my sketchbooks, I forget that I, like, fl uh, swap between sketchbooks and then guidebooks. In one of my sketchbooks I have on the floor, I actually rewrote the entire arena guide for Final Fantasy X. Because the one that they provided in the actual official guide was so fucking terrible that I was like, no, I'm just rewriting this now. Oh, and I have that kind of time again. The realism, I don't know. If it comes from, like, a need to feel like they're superior at something, the Soulsborne folks do trip so hard on that. How dare you want to enjoy games that I enjoy? I really don't know, it boggles me. And thank you for the lurk, mermaid. I don't know why a difficulty option is controversial opinion. Half these kids can't even finish the game. Some of these motherfuckers can't even get through the game. They're like, no, don't add difficulty. And it's like... What? Hmm. <laughs> Um, freaking ableist with someone with a delayed reaction time getting good isn't feasible sometimes. My- I have too much food on my desk. It's blocking my chat. If your literal identity is based around you being able to beat a game other people can't beat, you need to do some self re -eval. Yeah, it just- that whole thing kind of kills me. And I feel like guides and shit is kind of in that same realm of, like, angering discourse that angers Vanessa. Because it's like, I just don't understand- I- 
Who are you trying to impress? That's my question. Who are you trying to impress? Hoomst. Hoomst. <laughs> Who are you trying to impress? Oh my god, we have not been cheeked once. Are the cheeks hiding from us? Ray wants cheeks. He just said so. I need to go back to Code Vein. Are you on PC? If you're on PC, I'll play with you. Also, I have it on Game Pass right now. I might get it for my Xbox for shits and gigs. Solid as part of the reason I kind of have not a dismissal, but you'll get a side eye of your identity as gamer, like, first and foremost. Oh my god. Hang on. That was to Davey. Did I miss what Davey said? Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see. Honestly, it's why I do recommend Code Vein because it has some things that make it even easier, like a map and a computer AI and consistent multiplayer. Listen, when Sekiro had a jump, it was lit. Okay. <laughs> like, the fact that I could jump in Sekiro and I was like, everything about this is amazing. <gasps> Dimples, at me on Steam. I'll play with you. I have a character that's completed the game and everything. I'll hop in your game. I'll smack things with my halberd. I'll smack things with my halberd. Also, my uh, Code Vein character is actually going to be the mascot for the channel. I just started a piece on her. For those of you who've seen my recent work that I posted on Twitter and in the Discord of that side profile person, that's my Code Vein character. <laughs> Homest! Homest, do you want to impress? See the field of people who give fucks. Notice that the field is empty. <laughs> It's like an offshoot of the consumption as identity, and these people need like actual community and social support so they don't make weird niches to gatekeep. Because I gotta check out your Twitter now. Oh my gosh, this MV. Oh no. Okay, we're good. I thought I had on my fire sword, and I was about to be like, fuckles. Motherfucker! Damn. Point and attack formation just doesn't hit the same without Pekko. It just really doesn't. It's just not the same. You were the reason I ended up picking the game up, so I suppose that's full circle. Oh, yay! I will gladly play that with you. Weeby Souls, I enjoy. I enjoy some good Weeby Souls. Motherfucker, don't touch me. I said I was gonna show y'all some Dagrons. So after this one, let's get a Dagron. Let's get a Dagron. And I think today is gonna be a hybrid of... Ryu and Rei, because I cannot use fusion with Gar. The dragon does not fuse with the guardian. Probably for good reason. Cheeked? Oh, we've been cheeked! Okay, let's go. So let's do fusion. And then what do we say? Gar is a good lot. Gar is a good bean and just took a moment to catch on, and that's okay. That's okay. We want growth more than anything. We've been cheeked. So what did we say was, oh, it, never mind. It's this. Ray, you're going to murder this and Gar, you're gonna clean that up. I just love hearing cheeked while I'm making tea in the kitchen. Cheeked? Actually, that didn't work. It's not a hybrid. Although it does have Ray's hair. So we're gonna undo this one. Sir, we're gonna undo this one. Um, we're gonna leave you on defend right now. We're just gonna do fusion because I don't remember the correct one. It is not We were mistold. It is not fusion and force. That is wrong wrong Do I have a molly? I have a firecracker. There's a molly There you go friend I can't fuse with either of them? That's not right. That's not right. I know I can fuse with Ray. I think I have to kick out Gar. I have to kick out Gar. Everything about this is terrible. Everything about this is terrible. I want to at least do one new dragon, though. 
Here, start hitting that man. I have to kick up Gar. Where'd the baby dragon come from? That's the dragon from the start of the game! What are you talking about? Alright, let's do this again. Hmm. What's one that y'all haven't seen? You've seen the force dragon. You've seen the force dragon. You've seen the standard defense dragon. I really want to show you the Nina dragon. Mm. Mm. I want to show you the Nina dragon. Actually, I might have shown you some of the best ones thus far. Um, so let's just murder it. Get cheeked on. Oh, Ryu. Oh, I know why. Ryu can't hit this with the sword he has on. That's something I want to rectify. I'm gonna go ahead and burn through some magic because fuck it. I want to see the nice vital eyes. And actually, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that my book fell apart. Because I bet you my jeans are in here. Or if they're not in here. Yeah, they're not in here. This is also why I have it on my Kindle now. Cheeked! Uh, let's see. Fairy Village. Jeans! Here we go. Jeans, and then we should have a list of splices. That's the rule. Oh, my guy binding's been undone for like a decade. Literally a decade. This, this, my book. Okay. I got Breath of Fire 3. I have my original copy sitting on my shelf from 1998. I got the guide for the game in 1999. I've had this book on hand since 1999. This is almost a, oh, oh, I don't like what I'm about to say. This is an over 20 year old book. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts a lot. Hey, Cedor. My insides are sad. Oh, my. Oh, I've had this book for over 20 years. I hate this. Mm. That's nasty. I, you know, I'd even go as far as saying it. That's that's disrespectful. Mm. Hold on, I got I got to Oh, hold up. There's no way to rectify that past what I'm doing now. I just... That hurt. <laughs> that shit hurted. Like, wow! I've had this book for 20 fucking years? I read the other day this year that, uh, no, that this year will officially make life uh, for bartenders easier because anyone born before 2000 can drink. Whoo! 
Don't like that. Mm-mm, sure don't. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I hate it. I hate it. All right, so. Ray? Ray has a dragon. I was pretty sure. No, he doesn't. Hang on. Time out. Dragon, we've seen a mammoth. No, we haven't. We've seen a behemoth. We've seen a behemoth. Um. We haven't seen a wildfire. Let's play Show Off the Dragons, shall we? We're gonna play a game called Show Off the Dragons. Uh, yeah, Ray's about the level. Oh yeah, you're good. I don't need to look too closely at your ID because I can see the one. The one in the beginning of your birth year. Yeah, you're, you're good. Tom is drunk. 4-2-K you drink. I, I hate it here. And now I realize I have 20 plus year old guys as well. Almost every guide on my shelf is 20 plus years old. There might be a few that are getting ready to break the 20 barrier. Um, here you go, dimples and dice. I just realized upon saying this, my Final Fantasy X guide is 20 years old. My Final Fantasy X guide just broke 20. Every second time chooses violence. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, that reminded me of when someone was getting Kari at a restaurant and the server said, never mind, I see your Blockbuster membership card. Ooh! Ooh, that I think that counts as a drag. That was an unaccount that was an uncalled for attack. That was an actual fucking attack, team. Alright, so let's do showcasing of dragons, yeah? Because we haven't had to use them because I'm kind of OP, it looks like. But um, let's showcase some dragons for everybody. How do we feel about that? Not sure if a good tear or a bad one. What do you want to do? That sounds like that person wanted to start a fight. Right. And someone born in 2000, I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. We're just being rickety and old at this point. We're just being cranky because old. Uh, Ty Worth, how are you, boo? Thank you so much for the follow. How's your day going? How have you been? I hope you're having a good Saturday. I started to hit that person up with the yo mama jokes. Listen, the only time I actually get angry about that type of shit is when I give them my ID and their response back to me is, oh wow, I didn't think you were so old. And I'm just like, pardon? Mayday, thank you so much for the follow as well. Welcome on into the wine cellar. Hope you're having a good Saturday. Like literally just pardon? Yeah? How dare you? Tell me kisses, thank you so much for the follow as well. Or when they don't card you. The shit was cute when I was 23. I'm 34. Card me, damn it. Alright, so let's look at some Dagrons. So because I got the formula in my book. I forgot the formulas in my book. The fusion will take hold based on who's in your party and who's the highest level. So in this case, it's going to be Nina. So we're going to do... I forget what Nina gets enhanced by. It doesn't have that, though. Let's see. It's not gonna be reversed. Pronoun extension? Yeah! What about the pronoun extension? It's going alright? How's the stream? Cool to see so many folks here using the pronouns extension. Yeah, Phoenix! Phoenix! I need you to read the Discord. There's a pronoun extension. I forget the person who made it, but they made a pronoun extension that's usable in Chrome and as of recently Firefox that lets you set your pronouns and then add it to your browser so that you can see people's pronouns in chat. What is this drinking in bars you speak of? That's from the ancient times. All right, thanks Ty, I have to set that up. I forgot about it. Pronouns rise. <laughs> yeah, it always kills me when I'm in a chat and it's like, I'm always just like, I forget it's there, and then I talk, and then my pronouns pop up, and I'm like, oh, they have it installed, but a lot of people in their chat don't use it. Awkward. 
Yikes! So, what do I need to mix this with? And we're not gonna mix it with anything. We're just gonna hit okay. It's gonna pop off. Oh, and Nina's gonna pop off too. Oh, I need to fix her spells real bad. Don't do anything, Nina. Just hit. I'm assuming it doesn't work on mobile or PS. So now we have you, motherfucker. It's Ray. Now I have the Ray Dragon. PlayStation. I don't think so. Okay, so now we have the Ray Dragon. So funny thing about the Ray Dragon is it's a hybrid with Ray, obviously, and this was used for like a mountain of promo work. Like if you look up Breath of Fire 3 strategy guides or like art or anything like that, you will see this dragon all over everything. All over fucking everything. It's everywhere. And of course, because it's based on Ray, it's gonna be based around crit and then um, wind damage. I don't know what Ray's actual fixer is, but we're gonna crit because fuck these people. And we're just gonna rob them because fuck these people twice, really. And then um, we're gonna do Tempest because I wanna see it. Yeah, I really had the Twitch Mobile and PS app are almost. Have zero functionality. I fucking knew there was a Ray Dragon and Gar was just fucking it up. Jerk. So we have a Ray Dragon. Now I have to see if I can get the Nina Dragon. I'll have to put Gar in the party to force it, I think. I have the Pagar, but how do I set my pronouns? Go to their website. Um, can someone? Oh, thank you so much, Zafir. Can someone drop off the link for Echo to uh, the pronoun extension? Oh goodness gracious! And Asosa, you didn't donate a thousand bits. You just put that in there with the slash me. Let's see what other dragons we can do. So we should be able to do a mammoth, which is the question marks plus the miracle. Oh, do I not have miracle? Yeah, I do. And this is gonna 86 everyone, so I'm just gonna push them through. I, it's been around forever, Riku. I remember back when I, um, yeah, so this one looks like the behemoth, but it's different in a uh, color palette. So, yeah, I don't know why that happened. I remember Riku when um, I did my first ever charity stream for the weekend, and this is back when I had like a CCV of like maybe 10 or 15 or so. Nah, I think for my first charity stream it was probably around 20. I remember someone came in and was like, I'm gonna give you a ton of money, and they kept doing slash me and then typing in monetary amounts, and I actually had to finally get pissed off about it and say, you're not donating money and you're just making me mad now. Cause he would write things like, uh, donated $10,000, donated $100, donated $15,000. And I'm like, but you're not donating. I literally have alerts and shit set up. Plus it's the same color as your name. Hey Nova. Says so yes, you have your behemoth. You whiffed? You woofed, kiddo! Also, peep that I have 2,000 HP in this form. But also, it's a chonky fucking form. Oh my god, his little mouth is adorable. His little mouth is adorable. I just want to pet him on his head and be like, Is someone chompy? Do you have chomps? Do you want to chomp? You're a chompy boy. Look at the little chomper. Gotta change laundry. Alright, not a problem. Chonky Toe Dragon. Extension is just Firefox. No, it's Chrome and Firefox. Matter of fact, Chrome was first, Firefox was second because people like Chrome more than Firefox and I'm by myself in that boat. Alright, so you saw a mammoth, we've seen a behemoth. You can't see that one yet, so I can't talk about it. <gasps> Or 
Oh my god. I think we're gonna get my favorite dragon. I think we're gonna get my favorite dragon. I love this dragon so fucking much. This is my favorite! It's so cute! It's such a, like, not useful dragon, but look at how fucking adorable it is! And it spins! It's idle animation is to spin! I love it so much! <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Like, I want to just pick it up and, and pet it and be like, this is the best dragon. Who's a little good? Who's the best world destroyer? Is it you? Is it you? Who's really good at decimation? I bet you it's you. It's you, isn't it? And also the breath is the cutest thing to boot. The breath is super cute too. Look at the little destroyer. Look at that little murderous intent machine. You're just so damn cute. Oh, I love the pygmy so much. So fucking much. Sorry, lots of gushing happening. Look at the little cutie. Who's my little world destroyer? Is it you? Is it you? <laughs> I know, right? Is cuteness automatically makes it the strongest? I know. I love the pygmy so much. I'm like the happiest person. That just made my entire stream. All right, we gotta go out and like restore our AP. Dragon's Choir, a lot of AP. And my AP is not doing great. All right, let's see. Cause like I just imagine it. Who's the little cuter's destroy in boss? <laughs> oh my god, I love the pygmy. I love the pygmy. I think you can set up your favorites too. I'm not gonna save because we're just out here showing off dragons. Point to pick me, I love this dragon more than I like any human. Yes. <laughs> Accurate, fucking valid. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna kick out Ray. We're gonna put in Gar. Cause Gar can't be fused with. And I think that's what it was trying to do. I think that's what it was trying to do, so it kept fucking up. We're gonna see if we can get the Nina dragon. Cause we know with Nina and Momo, we got the Momo dragon. With Nina and Ray, we got the Ray dragon. Shit, I might not be able to get it. I'm gonna try. God, I'm gonna try. Survey says, oh, we got the Nina Dragon. Nina Dragon's very pretty. Nina Dragon's very pretty and is very elegant looking. And the Nina Dragon, as you would expect, is gonna be a heavy casting dragon. So it has all of the best elemental moves for that tree. So you have the strongest wind attack, the strongest lightning, the strongest fire. I shouldn't say strongest, strongest, Available by Loveling. And then um, the strongest ice attack. So this is going to be your big boom magic. Yeah, it's super fucking elegant. And also it does cheesy shit like this. But also get fucked all over. Attack speed and defense down plus you're confused. Eat shit, my dude. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is the Nina Dragon. The Nina Dragon's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Alright, let's uh... You know what? Nah, nah. We're gonna restore. I'm gonna let Nina nuke this man. Cause she has her best ice spell of the game. This is the kind of dragon I wanna ride in a battle. It's really the arm wings. It's the arm wings that do it for me. Nina's gonna nuke this man. Just a casual uh, blizzard. How do it be? Hey, reward. Nuke this man. Alright, so we saw the Nina dragon. What else do we want to see? We saw a warrior. 
Oh, what's a Myrmidon? I don't remember that one. I'm like miffed that I'm only hearing about the series now because this would have been my stuff as a kid. I, Riku, when I say I love this game, I mean that with my chest. <laughs> I adore this game. We have initiative. Unfortunate for this man. So let's see if we can make a Myrmidon, yes? Let's see. Force, reverse. I can't make a Myrmidon right now. I'm missing something. Look at that little cutie! Arr! Fucking love this little shit. Um, let's see. What else can we make, though? I think we have all the dragons that we can do at the current moment. Because I need a few more genies to make some better ones. Ooh, that one's really pretty, but I need a lot of gene. I need a gene, um, a later gene. Speaking of, where is that gene at? Mm. So you have to cycle back a page to the uh, guide. Yeah, well, not just that. You can also put your favorites, and what I almost always do is once I've made it at least one time, I immediately take that and throw it into best. Hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Hey, Ooze, thank you so much for the 17 month resub. How are you? Can we get some hype and chat for the 17 months? Um, there's a way to make hers better. I want to say it's this. I should be able to change the color. I'm hoping I change the color. I did change the color. So now the color palette, instead of having the green tail and the green accents, everything is kind of like the same color as Nina. And what that does is, as you can see, I have two more spells on top of the already busted spells I have. Soroko is fucking disgusting. Soroko is absolutely fucking disgusting. And uh, Mule Inner is also really, really harsh. So yeah, if you know who is gonna fuse with, and you can actually complement it, you can get them better fusions. The gene aspect was completely out of my comprehension when I played this. Oh yeah. Again, why guides are useful. Um, you know what, let's do a Sirocco. Let's Sirocco. Let's murder this man. Yeah, Sirocco is probably like one of my favorite moves in the entire game. Can anyone tell me if you see my previous messages? Um, that's the first message I see from you, unless I missed it. So give me a moment. Now I'm gonna check one other thing, Undead, because I know this is something you were talking about in the Discord. Yeah, the last time I saw you active in chat and talking without having a highlight is on 1-1. One, one. That's so fucking goofy. That's so weird. Fucking weird. Alright, so I think that concludes the Dragon Showcase for now. We'll have to get... We'll have to get, um the trance gene later on, and then we'll be able to do more fun stuff. Uh, let's go check in on the kids. And uh, yeah, I've got my alcohol loaded in because I made myself feel absolutely terrible realizing that my book is held together by duct tape because it's 20 plus years old. But at the same time, I refuse to buy a, like an updated version. Switch has been misbehaving recently. Did I get, I did get Final Fantasy XII and Kino Kuni, uh, Nino Kuni and some other RPGs. So a while back when I asked for recommendations, I wanted to say thanks folks, got things to play over the next three weeks of quarantine and recovery. Oh, you gonna be playing more than three weeks. Trust that, trust that shit. Basically Twitch support response is like, oh yeah, sometimes streamers have follower only chat on, but I don't though. And you're a sub, you're a sub and a follower. All right, Undead, here's what you do, because I hate when people give you fucking flippant answers like this. You screen cap this chat right now, 
showing that you're a fucking not just a sub, but over a year sub, and that you can't chat in places where you literally have been and cheered and everything else. And hey, Goberguard. Also, how will highlight message break the follower only? Considering follower only means that you can't chat. Ooh, child of the ghetto. The ghetto! What is taking out so long with building these other rooms, though? What's up? Oh, you're the new one. You're, you're the new chick. You're the new chick. Let me go ahead and assign you somewhere. Ugh. Okay, so you're okay at everything. Um, yeah, you'll do that. Like, I feel like I'm at a fucking standstill for goofy-ass reasons. Because I think we have plenty of stuff cleared. I'm just sitting here like, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm crying, my wife in Stardew Valley fed all the animals. Why is that a bad thing? They're too busy making babies. It reminds me of like the old IRC net splits. I aged myself. Oh god. All right, so let's see what else you've got. No, you're fine because that's the only way you can fucking talk. Apparently, and thank you so much, Cornoodles. Hmm. And welcome on in. Oh. Oh. Shell baby, thanks so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for joining us. I knew that was gonna be for one of the girls. Woof! I need a lot of money and I need it fast. Need doll hairs quickly. You know what? I think the new challenge quest and vacation is kicking my whole ass. I wish I could help because when I get on later tonight, it's gonna be like a late night tip too, just a FYI. Um, when I get on later tonight, I'm gonna be absolutely in the I need to remember how to play this boat. Hmm. Let's do a day trip. I think one of you can break off now. Alpha, you're breaking off. Sell stuff. And next time we come back, we're gonna check the food. And if it's still at 99, we'll pull off one more. <sighs> Can I ask a technical streaming question? Sure thing. I will try to answer to the best of my capabilities. I promise absolutely nothing though. I'm just gonna let you know that. Oop, that's busted. Well, I guess it's gonna stay there. Look, okay, I have lots of channel points, but I'm still incredibly salty. Right, because what happens when you're in the channels that you don't have a fuckload of points? Then what's the play? I checked my um, FL through, though, and you're only 15, which is one shot of co-op. I'm still totally game to shoot the shit and run through stuff with you, though. Okay. Yeah, I should be, like, right on the edge of it, then. I know that I'm relatively close, and uh, I'll get that taken care of tonight. Alright, so, Nina, guess what? You're fired. Um, I need to level other people. Is it time for onions? Is it time for onions? Are we running, um... Yeah, we're gonna run part of Team Beef. We're gonna run to part of Team Beef. We're gonna run Team Onions. Team Crit Onions has been deployed. So, now that we know where we're going, we're gonna engage the worst minigame of the entire game. And then, that'll get us closer to doing the second worst minigame of the entire game. need more I don't need more space I need to like actually clean up my shit and not be a messy disaster go pack off some baddies fuck yeah but first we gotta go play in a boat didn't they do the same thing with Zongli too but I was uh yeah I was interested in his design a lot all right let's hit up the wharf 
Let's get in a boat. Mm. I'll have better luck. I haven't even gotten to my fucking rolls and shit yet. I had just got to a point where I was breaking people out into their uh, better shit. The sea's too rough. You probably can't make it in this boat. Okay, so I need to go... Oh my god, this fucking boat. Alright, um... Oops, I overheated. forgetting where I need to go. Insert let me in meme. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll look at the techno thing here in just a moment. Sushi making. Yeah, most people use OBS or slobs. I can see that much. Okay, I'm not delirious. It's like over here-ish. Supposed to be this. Thank you, Echo. Um, but for some reason it doesn't recognize the emulator. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to stream an emulator on my Mac. But I can't get the game sound and mic to run simultaneously on Twitch. Do you use a particular audio software? I do not. I am using strictly OBS. My emulator of choice is the Retro Arch, which should have max support. I recommend doing that because it has the most support in general. And then um, you should be able to capture it using a game capture the same way you would most of your video games and everything. I'm having one brain cell today. I set pronouns and like, and like I wonder how this isn't working. Realize I have to add the extension. The charts say that the tides only allow passage through these shallow waters for a limited time. You'll need to hurry to beat the tides. So you want to know the worst thing about this minigame? There's items and shit in here too. I'm going to uh, fuck up. Oh my god, just just kick me out, please. You have to add the extension. I forgot the door has salt in it so the undead can't enter the chat until it's cleaned up. Oh, I hate this. I didn't try to do that, though. Whew. Yeah, there's literally fucking chests in here, and I have- I'm morally obligated to get those. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't get this one like this? Whoop! I hate it, I hate it. Alright, we got one. There's one down. And the heavy dagger should be an upgrade for at least one person. 
confidence in ship steering. Tch, hilarious. Hilarious. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's up there, isn't it? It is up there. Let me go ahead and just take the L on this one. Since I can't even fucking turn. I have to go up top. Stop sinking those ships. People work hard riding those. I want all my stuff is the problem. Because it's all a lot of like upgrades. Because of course they are. Well, one of them's not an upgrade. But we'll just have to find it as we go. Because I do want the mail and the shield that's there. The controls seem frustrating. It's really aggravating. Especially since, like, a lot of times you'll run into fucking rocks and shit. Well, I'm not gonna make that. I almost made it. I almost made it. Yeah, the controls on the boat are horrible. And that's why I said, this is... People complain about, like, the well and shit. No. No, 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 no. No, the boat's way worse. I will do the well 80 times over. The boat fucking sucks shit. The boat sucks shit. Boom. All right, kick me out. That's two. Wait, wait, wait. I just noticed the cat cam. Yeah, there's been a cat cam. Usually when they want to behave and actually stay in their hammock. And there's a stinky boy there. All right. That's two items. Huh? Dark Squall, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hello, everyone from Dark Squall stream. I am Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a Black Court content creator. I do try hard games and RPGs, challenge runs, speed runs, completionist things, and today we're playing my all-time favorite JRPG, Breath of Fire 3. However, we're playing my most loathe fucking section of it. Oh god, we're just gonna go through here. How was your stream? How are the things and stuff? I hope you had a good stream. I hope things are going well for you today. Good lord. It was good, thank you. What did you play? Hmm. Yeah, he's back to sleep. Sometimes when I pet his head, he gets up. Final Fantasy VII, the original. Ooh, more retro RPGs. Final Fantasy VII is a game that got me started in JRPGs, and it's been downhill ever since. Which is why I'm currently playing my all-time favorite art for JRPG, Breath of Fire 3. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say fuck it to those other two items. I know, Duan, we have guests. That's a guilt ship, ain't it? I've been thinking about doing Breath of Fire 3 or Wild Arms at some point. I have a poll going right now in my Discord because we're going to do another RPG after this. And I think the contenders that I gave everyone to pick from is Breath of Fire 4, Wild Arms, Grandia, Chrono Cross because we played Chrono Trigger a ton on the channel. And then the fifth option I can't think of right now. Because my brain at night is much more functional than my brain in the daytime. <laughs> what would the guild want with me? Tales of Symphonia. And that's the one that's winning. That's what's funny. Because I've never played or finished a Tales of game. Anyways, welcome. Come inside, have some coffee or something. Oh, gotta head out. Have a great rest of streaming day. All right, Davey, thanks so much for hanging. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Oh my gosh. Do you take several hours to boot up Twisted? I can be awake for four hours, but I fully don't wake up until like just prior to supper. I'm a night owl by like just... I don't want to say design, but that's how I've always been. If it's between the hours of like, 
I'll say 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., that's when I'm operating at my absolute peak. That's when I crank out my best art. That's when I do my best writing. That is when I'm the absolute most awake. Even though most jobs have required me to be at work at like 9 in the morning and I fucking hate the shit. Um, I voted for Breath of Fire 4 because I love it, but honestly, those are all gold choices, so there's no losing, really. And keep in mind that everything that's on that list is going to be on stream at some point. And so, we hope to ask the Legendary Mariner how to cross the sea. I'm tempted to do a Lundra too. Oh shit, I don't have a Lundra in any of my rosters. Is there a mod? Can you put in mod chat to add a Lundra to the games list, please? Legendary Mariner. Are they still calling me that? My name is Cuckoos, and I'm not a sailor. I haven't been I haven't explored the reaches of the outer sea. What? Then you don't have a boat we could use? Well, I did come from the other side of the sea, but as a castaway. Then you know how to cross the sea. Please tell us, we have to cross it. Impossible. No middle sea boat could make the trip. Besides, there's nothing worth mentioning out there. Yeah, right. Then where'd all those machines come from? If you got here, then there must be a way for us to get there. Please, Cuckoos, tell us how. Uh, tell us how. Big oof and mood. That's an absolute mood. I know nothing about Symphonia aside from a Let's Player I watched mentioning in another series they were doing. Symphonia has made me sick of box puzzles. <laughs> you should definitely do a Lundra, a, ga a great game. I forgot all about that one. That was another one that was in the PS1 era, so I absolutely need to add that to my list of games. The RPG list grows ever stronger. Another one I vaguely remember enjoying is Lunar Eternal Blue. Oh, see, I have Silver Star Story on my shelf. I have Silver Star Story on my shelf. I actually have never played Eternal Blue, though. But I know from the prequel, which is Silver Star Story, it's probably going to be real fucking slappy. PS1 has some great RPGs. Oh, God, yeah, it did. If you're that determined, then maybe there's a way. You must find a certain ship. The black ship? Yes, you know it as the black ship. It's a large ocean-going transport. If you get aboard it somehow, it's biggins. The healer had a really good line for his attacks. Only said it might work. Keep in mind, I also have to do Dragon Quest. Because 11 is where I'm going to start. That'll be my first ever Dragon Quest. And I'll just work backwards from there. I'm a healer, but... Um, I doubt this will work. But here it goes. See? I don't think we can stop it that way. Hey, something's moving. This is also the official, you are going to be trapped in this area for a minute um, location. Every RPG has one standard issue, the you're stuck here with us now conversation. This is that moment in Breath of Fire 3. And you actually got to hear a sound effect from someone that wasn't Pekko. Zig, get us out of here quick. This game is like if PS1 and SNES had a baby. I mean, both systems have some real fucking slappy RPGs. Tell me, what were you thinking? What, are you saying it's my fault? Whew, that was close. Guess it attacks anything that gets close to it. Hmm. 
Alright, this is at least the easy part. Which makes me mad that in the West, Sony wanted to push most 3D games when there are so many other good games. This is why when people come into chat and they get cranky and angry about how they don't want remasters and things, I have to remind them, remasters don't necessarily auto-equate to, okay, give it the 3D treatment. If they came out with a remaster of this where they had, like, just more crispy 2D sprites and stuff, and they left gameplay and stuff alone, I would 500%, no hesitation, drop money on it. No ifs, ands, or buts. Hands down. Or like they're doing that I think with the uh, Saga Frontier remaster where all the sprites and stuff that I've seen thus far are absolutely stunning but they still have that 2.5D aesthetic and things still look and feel the same. Could they fix the boat too? <laughs> Ashes to ashes, butts to dust. Oh, I need to play this game. That's right up my alley. We we stand a good butt in this channel. I need a butt emote. I think I made one once upon a time, and I just never followed through with it. Hang on. Did I make myself a butt emote? The 8 remaster is very much like that. Yeah, exactly. Like, the remasters can be dope. It just has to be handled correctly. No, that's when I made a butt for Levana. Is there really no twisted butt cheeks? Lord, I've made a heckin' dang travesty. I haven't made a si I gotta make- that's on my agenda. Top of queue. I need a twisted butt emote. Listen, I was wondering why you didn't have one. I- I need a butt emote. <laughs> I need to see how people are sneaking them in. Now, the other reason I don't have one, Echo, is because they cracked down at some point saying that they don't allow those emotes, but a lot of people who had them prior to that crackdown have still, like, stayed under the radar. So, I'll have to see how I can sneak it in. Make it the Vulcan? No, it has to be covered, though. That's the only problem. It should be Mount Thickums. I don't disagree, but I have to cover it in some way. Oh my god. Maybe I'll pass if I call it cheeked. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try. But we need another emote slot, because otherwise I have to go into tier 2 or tier 3. We'd have to get a lot of more subs. We'd have to get like at least 200 more subs. So if you have a friend who has 200 subs on deck, <laughs> then we could get another slot. Because I had a huge influx when I got partnered, so now my next slot is like far, far away. Granted, I also have bit emote slots, so I can use those. So I'll, let, I'll put it in art, and then I'll have a mod if the bond is listening to drop it off. Hey, culinary. Drop it off in mod chat to remind me with all the other notes that I usually get like 92% of completed. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Clagra, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. I appreciate you. Yeah, I always get really conscious talking about it, though, because it's like, people are like, let's get another emo slot. I'm like, that's like a couple hundred subs. I hate, I hate to be that person, and I just feel a kind of way about it, being like, if you want more subs, you need to figure out how to get me more money. Yeah, it's just, it, it makes me feel squeaky. It makes me feel squeaky. But thank you so much, Glagroom, for the 10 gift subs. Closing the gap on that next emote slot. If we got the next emote slot, I'd probably cry like a bitch for an entire stream. I'm not gonna lie. Because that's a that's a lot of subs. <laughs> that's that's a lot of subs. Um, let me see what we've got here. Where is it? Oh my god. Of course Ash has fucking Winnie the Pooh. That's adorable. And then there's a Pikachu Lita. I know that one. Oh, there's the Goji booty. Oh my god, that Cuddlecore butt is amazing. More money is good, I know, but I don't have the heart to be like, hey, so how do you feel about giving me your money? You know, I just, it, I don't know. I'm bad about asking people for money, period. Even if it's to support the channel, even if it's to get more stuff, it just makes me feel a kind of way of being like, please give me more subs? I, I don't know. It, it, the whole thing is very, very mixed feeling, kind of bizarre to me. 
What are we gonna do, Mr. Astro? I feel good, take the money. I know, I know. It still just doesn't make me feel great to ask it. Huh? Oh no. Are we gonna get a yawn? No, you're just gonna look angry. Just go back to sleep, Simon. Oh my god, he's gonna fall asleep with his head up. You're the captain now. Kitty is looking. I just does what the captain says, eh? Understandable, but I know, I know. You should probably talk it over with your friends before making up your mind, yeah? I just wanna- can we just stop fucking with my party comp? Sphinx, well, thank you so much for the five gift subs as well. I appreciate you. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, this- uh, I don't know. I- like I said, it just gives me mixed feels. It just gives me mixed feels, you know? I, I just- this is why I said I could never be like a super prominent and famous streamer because the idea of being like, hey, give me your fucking money, it just- I- I, I don't know. It gives me feelings. But thank you so much for the love and support, everybody. I know that it's a good thing. I know it helps everyone else in the grand scheme of things. I just, I'm weird about asking, okay? Oh my gosh. But thank you so much, Sphinx, for the five gift subs. I appreciate you. Looks like the only way we'll be able to get across the ocean is on that ship. There's gotta be something we can do, right, Astro? Not just gonna leave Nina, because Nina's just there. Anonymous Gifter, thank you so much for the gift sub as well. We need a Vulcan booty. Oh god. Oh god. Like, I want to put up the thing that says next emote slot. But it, it just, it makes me feel some kind of way, just generally. This fucking onion is always asleep. He just doesn't care. Literally doesn't give a flying fuck. Okay, no one's down here. And then welcome everyone who's been given the gift subs to the wine cellar community. If you like the content and everything, perhaps consider extending your gift sub into a permanent sub. Also, don't forget, you do have your Prime Gaming subs. There, I shield. I shield. You can use your free subs with Prime Gaming and, and sub to the channel. And that, that helps everybody. So, so there. I do better shilling the tea and like the headsets and mics and stuff, to be honest. If that Goofy hadn't attacked like that, it wouldn't have gotten angry and come after us, you know? Don't look at me like that. It's not my fault, okay? Oh, it's you, Astro. What are you gonna do? Are we gonna give up? Okay then, so now all we need to do is figure out a way to get on board. That ship, what if we rammed it? God damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Hey, Aslan, how are you? Let me see. If you're gonna try ramming it, I think hitting it from behind would be best. You would, Momo. That way we'd be able to avoid getting attacked. I think this covers everyone. I don't think we'd have any trouble if we could just get aborted, and that's the problem, isn't it? I'm well, how about you? I'm doing pretty heckin' dang okay. Doing pretty heckin' dang okay. She really said, let's destroy both ships to get what we want. Listen, she's just out here talking. You know she just works with machines. She ain't thinking ahead. It's okay. It's okay. What? Ram it? All right. That's what I hope you say. Leave it to me. Imagine being excited about ramming something. There's only one man for this kind of job. And that's me! The sweat drop is the only appropriate answer. You just watch. I'll have you on that ship in no time. Oh, my name's not Zig. Mm. Thank you so much. Mm. Let's do, just got home and saw I got a sub, thank you. Yep. We're gonna do the back stretches. We're gonna do the back stretches. And thank you so much, Keldon, and I just took a sip of my water. My agua. We're doing okay on hydration today. I haven't had to go to the bathroom yet, so we probably could stand to get a little bit more. And we're gonna pull the back. Oh. 
ramming the black ship. Use the controller to maneuver your boat. Build up speed with the run button and ram. Be careful not to overheat your engine. I love that it says the run button because this game, speaking of accessibility things because they have bad sound cues and stuff, the favorite thing I have about this is that this game is one of the first ones in this era to introduce a um, auto run. Yeah, so just ram it, it says. Oh my gosh. Oh! I'm gonna overheat. Got it! Oh god, I hate it. These jorts! We did it! <laughs> Aslan! Behave yourself! That was pretty rough. Wonder if everyone's okay. Well, we rammed her at full speed. Maybe you should go check on everyone. That was really something. I like the boats, the boats to go boom. That was a pretty big bump. Hey, Astro. Peckle fell right off where he was sitting. Oh no, my poor onion. Wait, I'm coming for you. My poor onion. Oh no. Pecco looks a little dizzy, but otherwise unhurt. Whew, that woke me up. Pecco fell right on top of me. The text actually wiggling out of the frame. Did I miss something? Is the lol emote banned? It is. We have that banned because the person that it represents is not a great person, which is ironic considering they just got rid of an emote on the platform because, you know, the person came out and was like pretty much mask off fascists, so. Feel free to use other lol emotes, however, because many of the people that you are sub to and whatnot have their own iterations and versions and whatnot. Really? What's the story? I don't know anything about him. I'd rather not devolve it, not devolve, I'd rather not indulge it right now on stream. I really would prefer not to. There are plenty of people though in the community and the Discord that have broken it down in the context corner and whatnot. And I would also highly suggest doing Total Biscuit and um, Allegations as a query. Yes, so that one is banned. That one is banned. Any and other iterations of lolling, I absolutely encourage, but that one, yeah, just get it out of here. Thanks, was it? Oh no, it's not a problem. I, I really just don't want to get into it super heavy on the stream because sometimes it goes real south real fast. And there's a lot of people in the community who also, yes, underwear are coming. I'll explain that comment in a second. There's a lot of people in the community who are also impacted by that person's actions and I don't want them to be upset by it. It is a ship or a sheep. I heard rams. Shut the hell up, Arkrat. Also, hi. I want my critical bar pog emote back. That one was great. And that's all I'll say about that guy. <laughs> so if you get on that ship, then it'll take you back where it came from. The other side. Yeah. Oh, Echo. If you want a full breakdown, there's a couple of people who have talked about it in Context Corner. I love this ass. Shut the hell up. Hi, you. Oh my God, did he have someone whip that out real fast and be like, hey, just go ahead and put that back out real quick. How goes the game? It's going well. We just ran face first into a ship. If we get to the bridge, we should be able to figure out how the automated systems work. We'll have to look for the bridge, which might take a while, but we can always come back here to rest, right? So here's the thing that's dangerous about this particular dungeon is that your primary resting point is in fact going to be I might do that. Your primary resting point is going to be your boat. The problem is when you're most of the way through and you're getting your shit pushed in, it's a real hard ass to be like, okay, just go ahead and trek all the way back to the boat if you need band-aids. It, it gets rough. It gets rough. 
It's a harsh fucking thing. So we're actually going to go against my usual creeds, and we're going to take Nina. We're going to take Nina. Her HP is absolutely abhorrent, but she hits like a fucking truck. Can't be that bad with everyone's favorite onion. Everyone's favorite onion. All right, so, and this is one other thing I want to do real fast. Because this actually makes me, like, want to scream. This has just been a long time coming. Oh my god. My life can go on. You have no idea how much that was making me upset. Oh shit! I don't want to return it to skill notes though, that's the problem. Well, that's fine. So the important question, how many thick foes have you encountered? Today we've only had, we've only been cheeked one time. We've only been cheeked once today. Which is very unfortunate because yesterday we got a blessed double cheek. We did get the blessed double cheek yesterday. I really noticed in my limited experience of RPGs, I think this is some of the most level discrepancies between characters. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I've said multiple times while playing RPGs that I hate it. And I mean, I get that it's a baby complaint and it doesn't really r destroy the game, but I hate when they force you to keep the pro tag in the party at all times, because it always just makes a massive discrepancy. At one point during the playthrough, Especially when Pekko started getting all his levels with um, Fall and stuff going. Yeah, it's still a discrepancy. Pekko has the most HP and is nine levels under the main character. I'm on Cheek Watch. I mean, Cheek Watch is valid. Valid and fair. I do like the thought that your party is just all levels with you. Like, why limit possibilities? Yeah, and then it forces you into a position where, like, in order to make sure things make sense... In order to make sure things make sense, you have to go around and grind. And grinding in this game, for what it's worth, isn't necessarily bad. It's not necessarily bad, but it's still, like all grinding, relatively fucking tedious. Oh, time out. We're fucking up. I need to give Nina a toy. Bayed is gonna be so fucking mad that we wrecked the boat again. You're right. And I, I would say angry, not mad. Angry. Uh, like, I bought all the revives, but I can only use them on the pro tag. Goofy. Those are the worst. The worst one is when if the pro tag dies, it's get. Ooh! Ooh! Yes! I, ooh, hate that shit. Don't like that. Mm mm. Sure, the shit don't. Hate that shit. We're just not gonna fuck around with these kids. We're not gonna fuck around with these kids. Get body. I hate that when the pro tag dies, the game ends. Fuck! Oh, get, get, get bodied. Oh, counter crit! Pekko said, fuck you, I can crit too. Oh, sorry, didn't know that was a bad word. Yeah, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. I just try to correct it as it comes up. That actually works beautifully. I'm very happy she silenced me. Because that saves me AP. Let's go. Flip side. But yeah, games where if the pro tag dies, the game ends. That, okay. Fucked up levels, I can fix that. Games where the pro tag dies and the game ends, actual rage is induced. That pisses me off. To no end. That pisses me off immensely. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quality. Quality.
I might actually game this a little bit. I might game this a little bit. Hey, C Dub. Um, I may kind of poke around until I have decent cash because I want to get some upgrades for people before I wanted to do this. But you know, it is what it is. What we got? Platform movement program. Left, right, forward, back, up, and down. Sorry, my brain just like overloaded for a second. Time. Listen. I'm not gonna play with myself on this. Okay, cool. I've been meaning to play Satisfactory today and instead kind of just zoned out on and, off and out on and off the stream. But I ate food. Well, that's a plus. You're winning. Just wanted to pop in and say happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Me looking at character was Tsukakaja and Rakakaja. Guess who's on buffing duty? I've been meaning to play. Oh, okay, I read that. I watched someone do a Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne Horror type patch and the person had to do a boss battle three times because the boss focused on the pro tag. But also, heck, in Pokemon Mystery, where you lose if your companion died. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to take five for a second. I do have to potty. We finally got the hydration to kick in. Hydration is kicking in. Body is saying, oh, it's time to push out toxins. You need to go potty. I'm going to go do that. And then I'm also going to grab a snack and come back here in just a moment. Please enjoy the music along with the kitty. Be a good boy. Yes. Oh, who's a good boy? Okay. Mm. 
Self-care, message, drink water, take any medication you need. Remember to eat when you can, breathe however you can, stretch if you're able to, you're loved very much and people here care. Hey, off-key burp, how you been? How are the things and stuff? It has been a while, but that's okay. That's okay. I went ahead and um, I've decided I'm gonna indulge carbs today because I'm gonna do Ring Fit after stream. And the more carbs I eat, the harder I'll just go on Ring Fit, so. How have you been? How did things stuff? Can we please get some hype in chat? Not just for the resub for five months, but for the 10 gift subs, the five gift subs, and then any and all love that we've had today, just in general. Oh, these codes, I recognize them. They look like a kitty has stepped in a keyboard. Let's just use these. Let's just use these. Oh, good. I don't have to actually input them, though. I got one of my scones and I heated it up. Oh, hey, I recognize this. I'm gonna punch it. Oh my god, everything's so organized. I need to start doing ring fit, but it's been rough. Anime Kid, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. Thanks for joining us. Um, at me. I'll send you gifts with, like, push-ups and stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna start making some for you. I think I have you after you at me. Ready, um... Dango, aka Moonchild, and a couple of, I'm gonna go grab my ring. And stuff and one hand is busy I'm gonna be doing arm I'm gonna do shoulder presses with the other hand so this is me making gifts for people I'm making gifts for people the cat's gonna stare at me weird every time I whip this out for folks who do it is it better to do it early in the day or later does it make a difference depends on what you're going for the ideal game is that you want to be active it's said I don't know if it's proven that if you're focusing on losing weight, it's better to do it in the AM, like when you wake up. If you're focusing on strength training and building muscle, midday to late day is ideal. I don't know that either of those are backed. I lean into the camp of just move around so that you can make sure that you feel good, period. Also, I don't have to write those down. Wow, that's useless. There we go. Oh, that program's done. All right, we're just gonna do this in order. Been good ollie busy but also relaxing so it's been a good start to the year nice this is not a good king toad not cute toad no these are not cute nina coming through per usual um other little quick tidbits too about working out winds and howls and all that stuff uh if you're gonna work out please eat beforehand at least bare minimum 30 minutes and even then if you're talking about 30 minutes it's more like eat, give it 30 to process, and then start working out in about 45. So we know program two will take us to the door. I'm just trying to make sure we scope the entire room. Don't do two sessions a day. Do not do two sessions a day unless you're talking about doing something like really, really heavy duty. You don't do enough of hitting my motherfucking onion. Am I a trainer? I'm not a personal trainer. I just work out a lot. I work out a lot. I've worked directly one-on-one -on -one with personal trainers, like paid someone to train me on stuff. And I just like sharing the information with people who are interested in trying to get hashtag fit, so to speak. 
and um yeah like it's one of those things where if you go too ham too fast undead you will literally hurt yourself you will hurt yourself that is not cash money we don't want injuries injuries suck shit we don't like those that's a no cheese dreams are made of cheese I'm kind of miffed at myself for not exercising, but the med withdrawal messed with my blood pressure on the other symptoms. After the first time passing on my routine, I was like, uh, maybe I'll do it in recovery. And that's what I mean. It, making progress is the goal, but you need to be mindful of your body and what it's telling you at the same time. Yeah, I'm taking that shit. I'm taking this card. Yeah, I have a hard time knowing the limits of how much to do not to get a flare-up after. Take it in increments. I would say do something light. And if that feels like afterwards it's way too light and you don't get a flare-up, then slowly add on that so that you can find what your fine limitation is. Because the last thing you want to do is go too ham. And then not only do you have a flare-up, but then you also have like actual body aches and pains and all of that fucking sucks. Take it from somebody who has gone too ham before. And literally, I worked my legs so hard that I couldn't squat to take a piss. Like, you don't, you don't want that life. It fucking sucks shit. It sucks terribly. Error in platform program number three. Well, now I'm just interested. And if I get a flare up, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, exactly. You have to take it slow. Take your time doing the stuff. Oh, no. I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Nina. I heard that, that fucking crit girl. Oh, wow. That wasn't bad at all. gonna do with an healing herb at this point well, I guess Nina could use them I want to see what's wrong with program three can't use breath attacks if you got to can't use breath attacks if you got too beat up definitely not a cute toad no they tried the ice breath and Peko decided they need to chip why are we going to get ring fit once my family starts paying me? Oh gosh. Don't touch me! I figured that would happen. Alright, no more of those. That's not useful at all now, is it? Ah! this boom so cranes on now the onion looks like the goofiest character in the game but it's actually the most OP I love Peko I and I will say it every time you gotta love Peko you gotta do it so now the main cranes active you gotta do it because the man's is busted I'd be tempted to put on my thunder ring if we actually saw the nut mages. But we haven't been seeing them often. Eventually that's- oh my god, look at the whole front of the ship. Bait is gonna be so fucking pissed. Well, let me do this real fast while that's on my mind. Let's do that. And then we're also going to hop into Skill Ink. I haven't got a chance to talk about Skill Ink, so this is perfect. Excuse you, I didn't say we were finished. Hello? <laughs> what do you want to do? So let's look at Skill Notes. So we talked about getting skills from Masters, but then you can see... Well, you can't see. Time out. Sorry. 
You can see that I have an ink counter that says five. And what that is, is the skill ink that I have in my inventory. When it says change skill, it asks us if I want to use skill ink and I can say yes. And then I could go in and I can change up things. These are all the skills that we've acquired across the board from masters. As long as I don't exit out of this operation, I have access to changing all the skills that I want to change. So I can just sit here and do this like for a good bit of time. Actually, I don't mind if you have charge. So the thing that says notes are skills that I have on deck that are just hiding in the back, more or less. Um, let's see. I want to give that to... Oh, no, you can actually 100% keep that. You can keep Sanctuary for now. Do I want to give you anything? Is it just appropriate to have... No, he's like the last person, so no. Ray doesn't have anything yet. You're going to take Shadow Walk. And you're pretty fast. You'll take that. And we're going to start giving Momo some magic. Because she's actually on the low key, ironically enough, a caster. And then we're going to give the caster like the main big boom magic so she can have it. I wish you could put it elsewhere. But yeah, anything that you don't have equipped to somebody, you can keep in your stash under notes. And then as long as I'm in this screen, I can just go back and shuffle these around however I want. Those who are wondering, this is why matters will only teach one skill. Masters will only teach one skill at a time, no matter who they teach it to. Yes, because then you can use ink, and then you can shuffle them around to whoever you want. So even though the book was recommending that you do Mary Leap with Ray explicitly because you get Shadow Walk, I can just take it off of whoever did learn it and go from there. And so now that I've exited. It'll ask me if I want to use skill ink again. So something else that's very, very important to think about is when you're using your skill ink, be sure that you try to cover as much shit as you want done possible under one ink. Because skill inks are very limited. I think at a point you can buy them, but it's not until way late in the game that you can buy skill ink. So if you burn through all your skill ink early, then that means stuff is just stuck where it is. And this is also why it's important to get masters up and running ASAP because even if you're not going to use any of the skills that they provide and you only did it for like one or two skills, it doesn't change the fact that that skill, once you have it, it's always on deck. So the faster you get those skills loaded in, the easier it becomes when you want to actually like rearrange stuff. You touch me? That's a very cool system. I love the master system. I adore it. It's so fucking good. Exactly, SJ. The fuck did y'all do? Cool. Fart summon typo mode today. I thought that you were saying that you were farting when that happened, and I was like, what? That's too far. I had a heckin' dang goof. Yeah, that's not quite right. Like, it literally just missed it. No, we didn't, unfortunately. We didn't. I purposely delayed it because I'm doing fine on the game so far. But getting it in the process of doing this boat 
It'll be fine. Okay. Hang on one second. Fuck! I need to do it before that. I saw you could use farts as a swear word, and I really like the idea. I'm having flashbacks to Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, the crane games? I want this fucking crane. There we go. Perfect. Mm-hmm. We need two more. It looks like there's two. Okay. Exactly, SJ. I hate it when there's not a marker. It's so frustrating. The most aggravating shit. It's like, fucking Christ. That third box and then it just automatically lines it up for you yeah the whole bullshit of being like oh yeah you need to figure it out where it's supposed to be I think that's right yes perfect we can walk across now Now, the only time that I'll accept it when it doesn't have all that lineup of stuff is if it was handled like it was in Final Fantasy VII Remake, where they don't give you those, like, indicators, but the puzzles are effectively so simple and short that it's like, okay, but this isn't that bad. Truly. Alright, there's something over here. I refuse to believe otherwise. Don't mind me, I'm compulsively hitting the buttons. Is this really just open? That's turds. Oh, let's go this way though. God damn it. Did they switch our formations back again? Oh no. Ah! No, they didn't, because he's countering like every attack damn near. Their evasion rates are so absurd. God. Alright. Nina, it's your time to shine. Because I'm done with these fools. Hi, Twist in the chat. Hey, Ellie. How you doing? You motherfucker. Uh oh. He's going to punch him. Punch! Um, Ultra Instinct Onion. Hey, Vallejo. How are you doing? How are folks doing? It just walked in. Hmm? Perfect. So we have a shortcut open now. Shortcuts open. I'm really good. Oh no! I'm not good! Quick, get the blizzard! Please go before them. I beg. Oh, good, we do. I designed a set for Wizards and it's on their online platform right now for people to play. That's exciting! Don't know if you play or know what uh, Magic the Gathering is, but TLDR, it's cool. People in this chat will know very loudly and clearly what Magic the Gathering is, so you're in great company. Yeah, go after Nina. Go after Nina. I like Nina being confused, because that's not harmful. Fuck you. Freaking frogs. Ah. 
The people I don't want confused are Peko and Ryu, because that will fucking suck. Magic the Gathering? Okay, great. I know mostly Lurk, so didn't want to presume. No, you're fine. You're perfectly fine. We have a lot of uh, tabletop people here that play multitudes of card games, multitudes of RPGs, all sorts of other stuff. But yeah, there, there's a couple of people I'm pretty sure who will be interested in that. Alright, get it together, Nina. Snap out of it. Alright, so what do we got here? Do 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 Boo. Boo. The door is broken, but I still can't go in. Oh no. Yeah, Sin, I was in screen caps of you chatting here, being like, hi, yeah, I follow this and I've been subbed for a year and I can't chat here. So trust me, it's not a followers only issue. Breath of Fire and Mega Man Legends are both both use Zinni. Yes, all the Capcom games use Zinni. We actually do tabletop sim stuff occasionally in a Discord? It's true. How dare you touch my onion? How dare you? I was gonna say, watch him get the hit while blinded. That is a cool detail. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker. Mm -mm. Those lucky strikes fucking suck shit. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of this after- Okay, there we go. You should really join us for Betrayal at Hill House, it's so good. I mean, I would if I didn't have 970 jobs to my name. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the formation done correctly. Oh, this asshole. Oh, well, he's dead. How dare you touch my onion. I was playing Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden last night, and they described the game's currency as it's like Zinni. Oh god. Ness got 99 jobs and tabletop ain't one. No, see that's the issue. Two of the jobs I have on deck, technically speaking, are tabletop. Oh. Skill ink? I just used one of those in my tutorial. So yeah, you can see that you can get skill ink in the world, but there's limited amounts in the world. And that's the problem. Just basically told me it's either follow or only chat or I've been muted and they can't do anything about it. On every channel on the platform? On every cha- You know what, I'm not gonna unpack that because I'm just get angry. God damn it! Stop hitting my onions! Stop it! What's poppin' girl, we in here, see you with the red wine shirt? Yes, this is like one of my favorite colors to wear too. I wore it because Overkill made me think about it yesterday, not in a bad way, but unintentionally, because I was wearing my matching outfit yesterday, and I was like, well, I have on like fun floral leggings. I feel like I should have a shirt that kind of matches the theme and everything. So like, that's why I went ahead and was like, oh, this shirt will work well. So I have on like my floral leggings and my nice shirt. I actually need to grab something really fast. In one second. to make sure it heals correctly. Then I became a buff child and punched her for the betrayal. Oh my god. <laughs> it does sound weird out of context, but I, I've accepted that a lot of the times here in this community, myself included, we don't think before we speak. Alright, give me one sec. Doot, doot. Oh, I was having some dryness. Uh oh, we got to start some peelings. Then we got some peelings started. There's a lot to unpack there, but let's just throw out the whole suitcase. <laughs> I just, that's why I was like, let me just not, because I'm gonna just get shitty and pissed off. Because that's not, that's not an acceptable answer in any magnitude. What so fucking ever. Just being like, oh yeah, it's because they have on followers only. So every channel on Twitch has followers only on and it only affects one person. I just healed. But we keep saving fucking AP for Nina. Hey Twisted, miss a lot of your streams. Hey Kaju, how are you? I hope you're well. I hope things are alright. Also the fact that someone can go around and mute with a highlighted message.
We like to call that real smooth brain hours. Real fucking smooth brain hours. All these beds and I can't sleep in none of them. The rudeness and disrespect on that. Oh my god, but we're gonna fight in here. Oh no! Merit! It's basically a special undead ooze only shadow ban. I feel very special. Yeah, that's like not remotely acceptable. Everything about how that was handled is atrocious. There we go. I was like, why am I in here? Oh, fuck yeah! Fucking stacks? Let's go. Brain so smooth, baby skin's feeling chapped. I think I can learn hypnotize now that I'm thinking about this. There you go, friends. And now I'm kind of debating on if I want to learn it. Who are you talking to? You punch this man. Tell him his insolence won't be tolerated. How dare you. That Peko frame freeze while you rotate the camera was very good. Oh yeah, anytime you rotate the camera if they're mid-walking animation... I'm gonna try and do it now. It just stops immediately on that frame. It's really convenient for if you're trying to look at the frame data specifically because you can see exactly what frames are being drawn to link everything together. Oh, is it Vallejo? I didn't know that. I apologize. I can't I can't use any of these fucking beds. Yeah, I didn't know that. I apologize. Oh, an ammonia. God damn it! Well, we're just not gonna play around with this. Oh, I can't use that. Let's do that. That works. That's not okay. There we go. They're out of here. Now I'm curious about something. Alright, what have we got in here? It says boost counter. That's that's it. That's all it says. It doesn't say fucking anything else. Just fucking boost counter. Oh, okay. We can just murder this. Making Nina melee like a pro. I recently almost finished the book, How to Argue with a Racist, and I love how one of the points in the book is basically that there isn't a lot of merit in arguing with a racist, but the book is there to educate people who are racist but don't know it due to their own cultural upbringing, being white. Overall, good book, or at least to me as a white person, learn some things from it. I would say if anyone wants to read it, then if they see any, and if they see any black voices that has rec commented on it, author's English with Indian descent, by the way. Oh no, that makes perfect sense. I think I've heard of this book in passing. I've never indulged it or entertained it myself, but anytime... And this is my personal stance. Anytime there is a person of color who is willing to do something to educate to that degree, and thank you so much, Sly. Hey, it's Sly! Hi! Hi, how are you? How have you been? I'm glad you got to stop by. Looking all cute during the holidays, you and your girl and your puppy. How are you? How are the things and stuff? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the stretch. Oh. God, my back just gets worse with every passing day, I'm certain. ID check. Motherfucker, I have an ID. Yeah, I got an ID. I just imagine the boost counter looking like a burst prompt from Ashura's Wrath. Just says BOOST in all caps. Yeah, BOOST counter. But what does it do? BOOST counter. If just yelling BOOST counter at me doesn't tell me anything. I just want you to know that. Alright, so what else do we have? 
Do do do. No. Mm -mm. I think that's the only part of 2D art that I would absolutely struggle with is having to draw characters that are warped or distorted to try and emulate that they are walking and running. Because doing things in like fun dynamic poses I can do, static poses I can do, but like the one that we just froze Peko on where he was stretched or squished, I would struggle with that. I can't believe you just got carded in a game. Listen, I get carded more in games than I do in real life and it fucking sucks. Shit's terrible. Let's say how many boosts we have left or how many can be used. Yes. <laughs> how much boost? Yes. Like that doesn't help me. Yes? <laughs> Why are you always going after him? Oh, I've actually assigned that, so that's my fault. Motherfucker! I imagine for POC daily racism is grinding, so I appreciate when anyone takes the time to write something I can read and learn from. It also counters boost. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. And yeah, exactly, Kaiju. Like, I do a lot of that stuff on my Twitter feed for the most part, and there's plenty of people who disagree with me on it because they're like, oh, well, you should be doing, like, all types of charges and all that. And some of it I am going to start charging for on a personal tangent, but for the most part, I kind of put up the boundary as well, saying that I'm going to educate on my terms and when I want to educate. And it's like, I get people who even on that tip get angry about it because they're just like, oh, well, but... Don't you think it would be more beneficial if you just educate and it's like, do you have any idea how exhausting that shit is, though? To have to constantly be like, okay, here's what's racist. Here's why it's racist. Here's a full bullet list of all the... No, fuck that noise. It looks like a control mechanism for the ship. It doesn't matter if it's helpful. Become boost! But it's too complicated for Astro. That's a real, real quick way of saying, I need Momo. But how do you expect people to get better if they don't learn? I mean, Google's free. Um, as Kaiju's kind of pointed out, people have written about it. There's plenty of articles. There's plenty of books. Please go forth and pursue those and stop asking me for free fucking education. I beg. I beg. Oh no, baby, no. Everything about this is horrific. We just gotta kill this with fire. Um, shit, those don't murder it though. I'm gonna go in on something. I'm gonna be dangerous. Now, nah, bitch, go to Google. You touching my onion? Motherfucker! Oh shit. You touching my onions? You touch me. Yeah. Give that bitch a night night nugget. I don't know why, but the noise with that frog may kill me. <laughs> a little boingy noise. Educate me, how'd you not learn this from free k TV programming, my good person? I have found the same people who want me to educate them aren't interested in listening so much as art. Mmm. 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 Oh, have you never heard me say that, SJ? Oh, especially if I got Momo in the party? Oh, yeah. Give that motherfucker a night night nugget. We're gonna get some free HP refill. There we go. Now we're gonna punch. They say educate like you need to give them a syllabus made specifically for them and I'm not a teacher and you're not paying. Also, yeah, I just googled books about racism and I got this and a few others including Superman vs. the Klan, which by the way I can recommend is made by an Asian author. The resources are out there, you have to be willing to go through them. Give that bitch a night night nugget. Hey. <laughs> hey. Come here. Give that bitch a night night nugget. Hey. It should also be said that even in countries where education is free, teachers are paid. Like, if you're teaching people, you need money for it. I know, it's just, it's such the weird shit. Oh, who hit me with their titty in Ritual of the Night? Who was Ritual of the Night? It wasn't the first boss. She hit me with tentacles. She hit me with tentacles on the first boss. Who hit me with their titty? 
I would like a shirt that says Night Night Nugget. Sin, add it to the queue. I have so many things to add to merch of just things that I fucking say on a regular basis. It's not hard as what I'm saying. Books are out there. Exactly, Kaiju. I love just getting the random quotes. All the missing context in the world. Twitter is free education if you want it to be. There's a lot of people on Twitter who talk about this stuff on a regular basis. I learned plenty about the Jewish community and everything from a bunch of Jewish activists, especially Jessica Price, who used to work at Guild Wars, uh, work on Guild Wars 2 and everything. I learned lots about, like, especially groups that I'm not a part of. Like, I have taken the time and effort out of my day to try and follow, like, more Jewish activists, more disabled activists, more neurodivergent activists, and all sorts of other groups that just, if I'm not part of it, I'm probably not going to be a great source for that information. Why is it I need to fix my quote command so the date and time game get auto added? What bot are you using? Because mine does it like that on the account of I'm using a Streamlabs chatbot, aka formerly. Um, oh no, it was something that sounded Egyptian. I always thought it was weird. <sighs> Ankbot. I've learned a lot from following people on Twitter. I learned a lot just by listening and observing. I'm using Nightbot. I don't know how it will work with Nightbot. I'd have to look into it. All right, so someone is close to leveling up. I want to get them leveled up, and then I'm going to switch out to Momo. It's, it's our favorite Onion Boy, who's probably going to stay in the party, to be perfectly honest. All right, let's get Pekka leveled, and then we're gonna kick out Nina. Actually, we could just kick out Nina. That's fine. I don't know what I was thinking on that, because Pekka's gonna stay. Ah. This game is sweet. I love this game. You can do it regardless of the bot you're using if you have the ability to change the code of the quote command. Yeah, I was like, I'm just not very, very well versed in that shit. And we have a level up. Whew. Kitty got up. I know this because I felt a headbutt on my foot. Hello. You're small and stinky. I know. Yeah, you are stinky. You're stinky indeed. You can't get up here though, because you don't know how to sit still. Um, let's change party members. I still can't believe you've never heard me say night night nugget. I, I am impressed that you've never heard me say that. Because I say that regularly. Hey, Cypher. Aren't you streaming right now, ma'am? Or did you just end? Woo! Excuse you. No, your meows don't even work right now. Has anyone else's cat done that? Where they go to meow and nothing comes out? <laughs> no, I had the tech fail. I was on for 15. Oh, no. Boo! Boo! I don't like that. Mm -mm, sure don't. <laughs> don't like that one fucking bit. I have so many games I haven't played on my backlog. I should go through those. Also me. Listen, Undead. Rocket is not that with barking. We taught him to use his inside voice. They squeak. And had the backseating tech support. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go. Why? What is the fucking deal with people and the backseating? I don't... I don't comprehend. Why? Why? Alright, so we have all types of healing on deck. Hmm. Hmm. This is gonna... Arcturius, thank you so much for the raid! I appreciate you! It's just inaudible to human ears. Oh, but that was just a big old squeakers. All right, you want to come up. You got to behave. You got to come up here, but you got to behave. Come on, Stinky. No, you can't come up here and just lean your head on Mommy's legs. No. No. Y'all, he just wanted to put his head on my legs. He's literally just standing on the chair, and he's like... <laughs> no, Stinky, Stinky. You can come up here. Come on, Stinks. There you go. Oh, yes. There's Mama Stinky. Ugh. Quit 
Quickly, which kitty am I holding? Ugh. Hey, stinky boy. Oh, yes. I'm Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a black queer content creator. I do try hard games and RPGs. I do challenge runs, speed runs, completionist things, and sometimes I might even write about games in your nearest blogs and journals near you. I am currently playing my favorite JRPG, Breath of Fire 3, and we are snuggling. We are snuggling with Simon! This is Simon Kitty. I purposely hid his tummy because that's the dead giveaway. That's the giveaway. Oh. Oh, someone's got a lot of love right now. Hey, stinky boy. What's going on? Why you got so much love right now? Hmm? What's going on? Oh no. Oh no. We got the big head leans. No. There's your boop. I got the head butt boop. We gonna boop. You said this is a request. You got No, you gotta look up. You got boop. There you go. Oh your nose is really wet. You got a big old wet nose. You got a big old wet nose. Oh no. This is what he wants. He did. He booped me first. But he just wants to lean on me. I got scared for a second that someone here knew me in real life since Simon is my dead... Oh, God, no. No, this is the name of one of my kitties. This is the name of one of my kitties. Why you, why you keep turning right from camera? See? He right there. Oh, no. Why you keep turning away from camera? Why why you do this? Why you shy? No. Why you shy? No need for shy. Everyone loves you. Yeah. No. no. You go right here. Oh my god, Simon. Simon. Okay, this is just what you wanted right there. Yeah. Yeah, my big old stinky floofer. Yeah, my big old stinky floofer. Oh, big old shakes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guess what? You don't take over my stream no more. Bye. Ugh. Anywho, we got bosses and shit to kill. He's so soft and shy. You mean the message I wrote? No worries. Hmm. Ah, you're talking about the thing. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so let's see. We should. What are you two doing? Oh god, I'm being judged. I'm being stared down. Getting the kitty stare downs. Hate that shit. Alright, let's see how this works now that Momo is here. Because we don't have magic anymore. Mm -mm, top priority. That man can stay. Yeah, he's a good boy. Oh, the night night nuggets have been issued. Punch that man. That's rude. You punched him while he was asleep. You punched him while he was asleep. That's so rude. The only rabbit I have who will let me cuddle like that is my dwarf rabbit, and he's blind and will tooth purr. All the other ones hate being picked. Oh no. Oh no. The poor kitties. All right, so let's see. Does this change now that we have a Momo? It says boost counter. That does not change with Momo. It's still just boost counter. How's the game going by the way, Pat? Based on nothing, I would say you're past the halfway point. Oh yeah, we are like, I think we're about at the 70% marker. Cause now once we get to the other side of the world, TM, we're gonna be entering a lot of uh, in-game nonsense. But to give you an idea of how much there is to do in terms of in-game, my character's average level right now is about 25, 26. By the time you go to beat the game, you're gonna be almost in the 40s and 50s. So there's still a mountain of shit to do. Hey Gimli, how are you? Um, celebrate and appreciate a dragon day today, wearing my dragon onesie. Yeah! Heck yeah! I need a dragon one. There's one that looks like Spyro that I really want. But the problem is, I like the onesies, but some of them get kind of scratchy. Like, my St. Jude one is fucking dope, and it's super soft and really comfy. My other one, I might have to get rid of it because it's a little scratchy. Hmm, looks like this is used to set the ship's heading. 
if we restart this, it'll do just what Cuckoo said. It looks like it was set up to go back across the sea. But to get this to work, we need to figure out what the boost counter is. I mean, I keep going to it and it just says boost counter. I think I saw something like that in deck below. I need you to go check the number on the boost counter and come back and tell me, okay? I'll get the boost started here. I need you to run down to the monitor room and tell me when the counter reaches 100. I think you know this, but the counter will be running while you're going and to and coming back from the monitor, monitor room. Don't wait for it to hit 100, you need to be back here in time. And tell me, so you need to time it just right. Okay, here goes. Ready? Ready. I think they turn off battles for this, too. Boost start. Oh, no. Yes. Oh no, I need to read. I'm gonna leave when it's at about 85, I think, is what I need to do. I might have missed it by 10. Yep, I did miscount in my head. No, oh wait, I'm good. I'm good. Woo! I had to, sorry, I had to stop and think about that for a second. I forgot that it gives you a tick. That was in my mind that cheaping noise had to mute, but will be lurking in chat. No, you're fine, perfectly fine. Thank you so much for the lurk cipher. Yeah, I forgot that it gives you the beep so that you can keep count. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. I can walk away. Um, let's see. I wish I could figure out what keyboard mini, mini racks were used for the music in these games. There's a lot of similarities I can hear between this and Mega Man Legends. It's usually a uh, Korg M1 wave station, but there's probably rolling keyboards too. Oh, thank you so much for the GG's. Looks like the black ship's starting to move. Time for us to go. Thanks for everything, Zig. Sure, be careful, eh? I'm gonna take this boat back to the machine guild. So that they can fix it with parts that they can't retrieve because they're too they they're too incompetent to go get those parts. Everybody, this way! Come up to the bridge! Yeah, the cheapy noise is done. Cheapy noise is done.
I love how we're just gonna act like the ship is not jacked up. Yep, we are done with that. I don't need to eat anything else carby today until after I do ring fit. We have quinoa in the fridge. What was that? The road to God. To the God that I, that Astro must meet. Nah, you said it right, you. You. It looks like the ship intends to take us there. Well, I don't know about any road to God, but this ship's underway and we can't stop her now. Since we don't know how long it's gonna take, we might as well sit back and relax. Fucking honey. Be nice to Pecco. Thought I missed a stream. Nope, we're still going for about another 45 minutes, maybe an hour. How are you doing, Dark Winds? Stop harassing Pecco! Ask why I came along. This is a fine time to ask now that we can't go back. It's like Mikva said. Even if my power and the broods aren't quite the same level, they're like one and the same, yeah? So, if we go to meet God or whoever, I can find out why such power exists. I love, yeah, his jaws flop whenever he's hopping. When he does a jump animation, like off of a cliff edge, his actual jowls flap in the wind. It's great. I can find out why such power exists. Hey, Gunsword. But now we have alarms. Sounds like something happened. Let's go check it out. Astro, something's happened. G good job, Nina. We better get to the bridge and talk to Momo. Not bad, just got out of bed. Nice. Time to go punch God in the kneecaps. We're trying. I like it, start small and work your way up to the, um, to the main event. Alright, alarms are off. Yes, we are hydrating. Momo, what happened? Looks like there's something wrong with the ship. Probably because it's something you did. Thanks, Ray. No, look at this. There's a problem on the upper deck near the front of the ship. Maybe we hit something? We should probably check it out. How can we get there, Momo? Let's see. All this tech. On the other side of our rooms, looks like there's a hall that runs to the prow of the ship. I open the door in the hall for you. So who's going to go? That is a good question. Hmm. I kind of want to take Team Beef. I kind of want to take Team Beef.
All right, let's go ahead and fix up Team B because we are, shocking to no one, walking face first into, you guessed it, a boss fight. Walking face first to a boss fight. say yesterday is something like 9 HP a turn or some shit. We might go ham. I think we are gonna go ham. We're gonna put that boy at the front. 120th of your health, I think he said. Yeah, it's only like 8 per turn. Yeah, we're gonna go ham then. Hey, Art Dragon. I love Peckle's level HP compared to Astro's. Yeah, it's one of the biggest things that highlights why the level discrepancy is so bad. Because it's an 8 level gap, but I have a 50 HP gain damn near. A dragon, a guardian, and an onion. And the onion is point. Don't forget that part. The onion is point. Is 120th whatever guards max is if the research is correct? Yeah. And welcome back in, Simbi. Did I uh, not miss the booze fight? No, not yet. We're getting to the fight now. Why do we have control of this ship and we didn't kill everything on it? Ashy. Unkempt. I'm gonna have to use fucking fire with this man. He can only cast once. Why didn't we kill everything? Why would you fight booze? Oh my gosh. The world's worst caster. Ah, fuck it. Okay, that wasn't a fucking lucky strike. There we go. That's out of here. I end up putting Gar on Giotto for the AP. I have um, Gar on Fall at the moment, which I know is like a huge hit to AP. And then once I'm comfortable with that, I'm probably gonna throw him on Giotto just for shits and gigs. I also have Peko on um, Fall for the defense and the HP. And then um, we're gonna throw some people on Hachio for the crit chance. The game where the onion is actually more OP than the actual dragon. Frost Strike, but your thing is Bolt? Oh, hi! Who told you you could go to sleep on the clock? Uh, hello? Or you could wake him up. That's cool. Oh, thank you so much, Kaldana. I'm so irritated that they didn't think to clean out the ship. Hello? Oh, I'm out of those. Where's one that does like 20? No, that's 20 AP. HP, flying fish. Oh, motherfuckers. Who runs security? I'm saying! We took over the ship. We took over the ship and didn't think to clean it out. This is what happens when you don't clean the ship. Now my onion has to deal with violence from these assholes. Someone intercom wharf down deck 12. And now they're all gonna whiff. Who is supposed to be checking tickets before letting these enemies in? Right. Because now we're gonna deal with this shit. I don't know if I can take Gar for this. Because I'm gonna spend all my time fucking fixing my face. No, it's not really bad. Oh, 
Shit. Double shit. <sighs> I'm just gonna explore. They didn't change the ID check? No! It's just staying there. The logic. It doesn't fucking exist. Doesn't it explore the rest of the ship? Like nothing. They just took the ship and kept moving. Now all these angry nuts with lucky strikes are out here. And the world's angriest fucking counter onion. The lack of logic. The lack of moisture in this decision making process. Like, I just. Angry nuts. Angry nuts. Oh god, and there's gonna be puzzlings. And then that's the other thing! They slept on this ship! Hello? You slept here! Angry fucking nuts. And that just showcases stuff. Of course you went first. How dare you? Stop touching my onions! Amy's don't attack the sleeping, clearly. Hey SJ, hey SJ, it's only one level left before the cheese emerges upon us. Hey SJ. Cause we're gonna level up when this is all done. And it's just one after that. God damn it. Stop touching my onion. Maybe they were hiding in the pipes? Clearly! Hiding somewhere that we ain't see. Quality. Oh no. Don't go to sleep! That man's sleep. Nice. Doesn't matter. And he doesn't lose any um, HPs for that. I'm trying to avoid using healing too much off of Ryu. Mm -hmm. I can use it off of Peko though. Boom. Topped off. I like how Gar's not the point because of how the sprite shuffled. Gar is now point. God damn it. Wow! That's not even the character! That's not even who's point! Why are y'all beating him up? <laughs> Gar, I need you to hit, babe. Cause shit like that can't keep happening. Need you all to hit. Oh dear. There we go. The crit bomb is out. Crit bomb is out the way. Oh, there's a crit! There we go. Matt SJ didn't listen to me. He's not listening out for when I call out the cheese is coming. The whiff squad. It's cause they're fucking... God damn... Oh god. Their goddamn um... Evasion rate is so freaking high. You need that more. Oh, we saving all moon tears. We don't need any more horse riders, so we'll just get this out the inventory. That's just in the way. No, do not use that. Holy shit. Hmm. 
Resource. Evasive angry nuts. I just... Their evasion's so high. Naturally, we have to look around for if there's cookies. What the hell is this? Okay, can we take a moment to really appreciate how this is the first one we've seen of this and I've been talking about going to a boss? And then it's a one-shot? Can we just fight more of those? Called a hunch. Looks like something's hit the boat. Oh no, there's stuff up here. Crabs? Oh, this is actually abysmal. Fuck that. God damn it. We're just gonna act like that never happened. <laughs> So I need to talk about the design of this boss because every time I look at it, no matter how old I become or how old I get, whenever I look at this boss, all I can think of is like an angry grandmother that is throwing a fucking hanky at me. And it's because of the goddamn flappy bits on the top. I'm like, this looks like an old, just kind of out of date, sleepy hat shit thing. And I can't unsee that. We should back up until we can get a solid footing. Let's fall back until we reach the middle of the deck. It should be easier to fight there. A mini flare flower? It, yeah, it looks like a shower cap! So I can't... If they begin to move, stop and wait for the next opening. Nope, we didn't make it. But that's fine. Oh, we have better footing. No, oh, we are gonna get dragons for this. We are gonna get dragons for this. And we're gonna specifically do this, this. Mm, we don't need to actually do that. There we go, we're gonna do that. I don't know if they can be poison, but we're gonna try it. And then we're gonna get some smacks going. It's a shower cap! I, no matter how many times I look at this boss, over time, I'm just like, I can't take you seriously. That's a shower cap. That moment when it says multi-strike and they hit once. Oh, quality. So we're gonna start with the right one because Pekko decided to start that. My Instacart shopper absconded with half of our order again. I'm never using that service again. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a not cash money. Hey, can you maybe a not with this right now? Mommy is trying to be murderous. Yeah, that's one is a multiple of one. Oh my gosh. That's so irritating, Culinary. Oh, fuckles. This is bad. This might be bad. Resist, Pekko. Resist! You have to resist. Oh, God, he did resist. Bless him. If he didn't, then he would have got that. And now we're starting the left one. But we're working on right, first and foremost. With the double, the double onion hits. Let's go. Gar? Baby. Baby, honey, 
I called their customer service when that happened to me and they gave me a refund and a psych credit, but I haven't touched the credit because fuck Instacart. That's so ashy though. Like, that you even would have such an issue. What the actual fuck? <laughs> if we can at least get one of them down, then the hypnotizers will be a little bit less terrifying. But if they want to keep attacking my onion, I'm game for it because he keeps counterattacking. Oh, that's a problem. That's actually a problem. Oh, quality whiff. One down. Thank you for the hit, sir. Yeah, three times, that's... D no. No, that's... It's time to wrap that up. We can just wrap that up. There you go, Gar. So, whenever I'm in dragon form, just as an FYI, I purposely do not heal the dragon, because if the dragon dies, it just goes away and takes you back to Ryu in the last state before loading the dragon. So quite literally, the dragons, if they, if they go down, they go down. Yeah, three times in two months isn't an accident, that's just blatant incompetence at that point. Gar? Gar? Yeah, I was a third time. That's that's intentional. Someone is just a failure at their job at that point. Oh yeah, the casting noises for Pecco, they're always super sweet. How dare punch. It's nice that he has such a high counter rate because it adds DPS and it lets me use turns to actually do things like heal. Since, you know, someone can't hit. Oh, look at that. Just have to shame him into hitting. We actually might be more than fine. This might be second to last or last hit. There we go. And we're good. Omni Onion. Oh, the triple level up. Let's go. So Pekko is 25 under fall. Astro is 33 under base. SJ, it's so close! Ow! Okay. And Gar is 25 under fall. No new party, only onions. <laughs> oh, and now I gotta actually like manually walk back. One level till the cheese is upon us. I'm so excited. You have no idea. Well, you do have an idea. Um, uh, revitalize? Revitalize. And everyone's in good shape. Gar almost is caught up to Pekko at 200. Look at him. Trying to be, trying to be a good boy. What the fuck am I doing? Onion tank, onion DPS, onion support. The ultimate in, um, he protect and he attack. How dare. I've been using Instacart a lot because I unfortunately have not found a better alternative here, but I haven't had more than one item missing usually. It might be by location too, truth be told. Truth be told. Onions make everyone cry. Level 34 cheese, what could it be? Don't tell me actually. Onion is an all-in-one character. Multifaceted character. Can we get some hits? Please? None of you? <sighs> I'm gonna have to use some other shit. See, this is what happens when you don't hit. This is what happens when you don't hit. Alright, we're gonna have to improvise. Oh, we got a hit. I like how for silence, they literally just steal the words from you in the animation. Oh my god, there's a hit. Please hit her. Oh, 
Oh my god, that fucked you up. This man's gonna die to trash. We gotta get some vitamins. Oh, 6k uh, XP though. Hurts. Oh, that's why. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? I passed my exit. Do I have any of them that are 40? I don't have any that's 40, so I'm just gonna put him on pause. Kill boss, dies to trash. Yeah, like seriously. Finally, after several days travel, the ship completed its crossing of the ocean. Because, you know, we just got all this. Have you played any more Master P for him? No, I haven't. Oh, Para, this was years ago. This was probably in, like, our second year of dating or so. Because I remember this happened in the old apartment. And he was just like, this is shit. He was so mad. He was so angry. He was like, I can't believe you exposed me to this. What the fuck am I listening to? Oh, my God. I've never seen him ever so irritated with me he was just like what the fuck am i listening to because yeah it was just a night of exposure to master p silk the shocker sea murder the no limit army all of it and he was like this is garbage and i was like hey it was high school you shut the fuck up you got like you didn't listen to garbage <laughs> oh we finally made it doesn't look too much different from our side does it who knows? Maybe there's monsters here, size of black ship. At any rate, we're in a new world now. We all best keep on our toes. This is my garbage, damn it. You may change party members. Oh well, thank you. I wanna get her moving. I'm gonna keep this. Actually, you might go without a tank. It might go in defense formation. Love being one shot by trash mobs. Yes, my favorite. Is everyone full up? Damn, I should have just fucking not healed. Well, I got rid of a lot of trash items. not from around here are you and so now we're in like the super techie areas you need weapons now nah, he hated on mastery he didn't know greatness okay but for real Janae listening back to it when we were dating and I exposed him to it it kind of was that moment where it's just like mm. maybe make him say uh wasn't the good starting point he was so mad so mad I <laughs> that's like my highlight of making him irritated it just made me so happy that he was so incensed oh we need money all the upgrades are here team I refuse to accept this not no limit for life Hang on, but wasn't, that was like the Britney thing, right? She was team no limit, and then most of us, I thought we were team cash money. Or did we just kind of dabble in both? I think we dabbled mostly in both. That was also when Brit was like in the Silk the Shocker and thinking he was cute. And in hindsight, I think we all just like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> this upgrade's absurd. Yeah. We're doing it. We dabbled on both. I was gonna say. I was pretty sure we dabbled in both. No limit came before cash money. I did both. Yeah, exactly. My vitamins still look good. 
No reason y'all thought Silk was cute was because of that one feature he made in the Maya video. What? Sin, there's no need to be fucking rude. <laughs> no need. We just use the machines here to load scrap onto the ship. Don't know anything more than that. But I'm a, you know what? There is no need to come for every black woman you know's edges like that, okay? You can just mellow the fuck out. That's what you can do. Brittany was Master B, Portia, oh my god, not the names! No! I forgot all about the names. Oh my god, my heart, it hurts. It hurts. This actually has caused a grievous wound on me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Help me. Silk was fine, though. Sin, you leave that the fuck alone. You want to rest? Go ahead. 200! No. I'm going to my, my girls over in the fairy rings. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Yeah, we gotta we gotta grind some cash. So now we're at the point where everything retracts the fan. You, you put that fucking fan away. <laughs> now we're at the point where we get to grind because now we're gonna have stuff that actually is gonna beat our ass. I need this black me black conversation today. Listen, it just it was like that, you know. And I the I think the whole reason that it came up is because I was telling him about how I have a playlist in my Spotify just called Black Shit. And he was really confused about it and was like, I don't understand. And I was like, it's because it has like all the stuff that like, you know, I listened to when I was growing up and I really enjoyed it and everything else. Then again, my workout playlist, like probably 80% of it is black shit. Like it still has fucking TI from when I started college in there. And I was like, it's just something about you don't know me that makes me want to fucking lift. I don't know. I'm not sure. But I lift to that. And I lift to like a bunch of old Busta and all sorts of other shit. And it's just, it's like deep rooted. Sorry. Sorry. They're like machines. Oh, what was it? Bussy you have too hype? Yeah. Have you too hype? Urban Legend is a classic? Yes. Yes. Or, um, and then I dabble some of the newer stuff in there because I think the start of my playlist is actually Simon Says. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the start of my workout playlist is Simon Says. And then I cycle through all my old school shit. Every time I hear real big, I just start bopping my head. Yes. Doesn't this just beat all? Who knows what'll happen next, huh? Scared? Who, me? Pfft, ha. I'm here because I want to be. So now you're going to have everyone's inner monologues. I could have just stayed on the other side, you know? I was happy just being a highwayman, yeah? Okay, so maybe I'm a little nervous. I still bop the Jada kiss. Yeah, yeah. If it's a bop, it's a bop. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't make the rules. That's just how it is. The dirty version is actually worse because it rhymes aren't as funny. Yo, can we talk about how so many of the busted clean versions will put you the fuck out? Like literally the fuck out because the stuff he comes up with to make a censored version, he's such a fucking clown. Well, he was such a clown. Now he's like all extra serious and he has like the stereotypical buff black dude syndrome. He shaved off all his dreads and now he's got like, he's like three times the size he was when he was in his prime and was embracing being weird and shit. And it's like, damn it, I want old Buster back. Hey Randy, how are you? Welcome on in. Welcome on in. But yeah, Busta cracks me up on both versions. Because, like, the the dirty versions were the cut, but then the clean versions were the ones that you could play around your parents and you would get away with it, but then you would also just laugh because he was a clown. He was a fucking clown. Who'd ever think we'd go off somewhere where no one has gone? Looking for, for God. Sheesh. And what's up with this brood stuff, anyway? The extinct brood, the god of the Urkins. We're searching for an answer to a mystery that could change the world. If I'd stayed in Windia, I would never have experienced any of this. But I bet everyone back home at the castle, especially my mother, they must all be worried about me. But being here is better than just being a princess, isn't it? 
Maybe? I'm just being selfish. What's most important for you is what you want for yourself. I think the only song from that time frame that is officially tarnished for me is Back That Ass Up, and that's because I was at a- Sage Voodoo, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hello everyone from Sage's stream. I am Pleasantly Twisted. I'm a black core content creator. I do try hard games, RPGs, challenge runs, speed runs, and sometimes you might catch me on the internet writing about video games. And today we're playing some Breath of Fire 3. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? How are the things and stuff? How are, or how is everybody? Now I'm gonna loop back. The only song that's tarnished for me at this point is Back That Ass Up because I'll never forget, I was at a concert probably like eight or nine years ago at this point. It is a while ago. I was at a concert and it came on and I was like, okay, that's what's up. And I was at the, like the higher balcony because it was one of those venues where it was like general seating. So you got there early so you could get like a dope spot and all that shit. I was in the higher balcony because that's where I wanted to sit. And I happened to look down onto the main floor and I saw this fucking white chick that was convulsing her back so hard to this song that it just permanently made me want to just pull the whole song out of my head. I was like, everything about this looks painful. Everything about this looks painful. And then, and then she had like three or four friends that joined in with her and it was equally as bad across the spectrum. And I was just like... <laughs> like it just it fucked my whole world up and i was like i can't think of this song without thinking of this image now so now when it comes on i'm just like nope <laughs> mm -mm. i just wanted to come over with sage and do a short raid it's pretty late where i am from so i'm going to bed now have a nice rest of your stream not a problem thank you so much umbra i appreciate you coming along oh my god janae it was so bad it was so bad it was just one of those things that you watched it happening and you were like there's no way you saw this like on a music video or tv somewhere it just can't be and you're like super late to the party. So there's, there's so many. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know, I know, ruin the whole. Think about how it may, I'm reading the game is that we may be able to figure out where all the machines we use come from. Hmm. I wonder what my dad would say if he were here. Every engineer dreams about solving the mystery of the machines. And I'm going to do my best to see that it's me who finally solves the puzzle. I'm sorry to someone ruin that for you, PT. It's okay. I just... I just, I can, like, even talking about right now, I can see her. I can see her outfit. I can see her hair. I can see the nightclub and everything. And I'm just like, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sure that power days gave us will show us. I must go. Thanks for the stream, Twisted. Have a good rest of your day, night, applicable time zone. Thank you so much for hanging out, Riku. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day as well. Tomorrow's another big day, eh, Astro? Oh my god. Messed up forever and always. Forever and always. Also, shout out to Missy Elliott for still cranking out music that still takes you back to that time frame. Because she's just like, fuck you, I'm Missy, I do what I want. And I'm like, you know what, you right. Alright, so. With that being said, we are now on the other side of the world. Um, This is where things get really interesting. Because... I technically right now do not have a way to go back to the other side. So anything that I left on the wayside at the current moment, that shit's on pause pause until I figure out a way to go back. But let's go visit our kiddos. I'm gonna eat a gummy, make myself feel better than having to tell that goddamn story. I hope no one died because I was gone for a while. Oh, she died on her expedition. But I have three fairies, so I don't care. <laughs> yes, the village is bigger. Oh, God. 
I keep biting my lip today. Here we go. Now we're getting shit going. Oh. Oh, I bit the fuck out of my lip. Hey, but three are born! It's fine! This is fine! Oh, you're not good at anything, huh? This one's severely behind. No. You're not gonna explore anything. You are... This one doesn't require anything. You can do that. I think we're good on food. Not even send an expedition to reclaim the body for burial. It won't let you! It just, they tell you, yeah, she died. And then they're like, but by the way, here's three more. It's like, oh, Jesus. That escalated so quickly. Ooh, I bet you that's for Nina. Holy shit, it's 22K. God damn, the prices skyrocket on you. Fuck. All right, what you got? Yeah, bitch, Jet. Ooh, she's all done. She's all done. Uh. I might get rid of this shop. This is not great. This is not great at all. And this is no longer applicable. I like the build a tiny town part of the Breath of Fire games. Yeah, these are nice. But we popped out three though, right. Like, it's just like, this is a fair trade, right? That's fucked up, dog. I just want you to know that, that's fucked up. All right, we're gonna reestablish a shop. Alright, so that's reset. This one can stay, because this one's actually dope. You guys, I helped y'all figure out how to clear the land for this shit, right? How you gonna charge me so much? I have Smith's the motherfucker, Astro. Hand over the shiny shit. I'm seeing any of this gameplay outside of in here. This music is nice. And this music is upgraded. This is the upgraded version. JRPG games always have the best mini games like this fairy village, some weird card game, or landlord game in Yakuza 0. Any mini game in Yakuza at all. I have the entire Yakuza series on deck and I need to play it. I need to play it. Alright. Let's go. We got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11, 16, 17, so we got room for 3 more. And we might dangerously be getting to that point where- HEY! Fuck out of here. We're trying to kill yourself. We're getting dangerously to that point where I might, and SJ and uh, Culinary are all gonna be like, oh no, but she has a point. We're dangerously- <coughs> We're danger- <coughs> God damn. We are dangerously at that stage where some of my fairies, if they don't start having things to do once we hit the max and we open up all rooms and shit, we'll have to start sending people on expeditions explicitly to cycle them out. Have you played any of the games of the Tales of series? No, but I might be playing one next month based on a poll I got going on in Discord. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. I hope things are going well for you. I, I have to, Vallejo. I won't have a choice because I have to have certain ones. Yeah, because I have to have certain ones. I have to have so many that are always on hunting, guaranteed, once all of my clearing and my building is done, everyone just gets assigned to shops. And so if they don't have anything in their shop stat and they can't hunt, I can't fucking use them really. It doesn't let me do that. I can't do that. 
when you play Yakuza, I would say either start with Kiwami if you want to do release order, or Zero if you want to do chronological, or Like a Dragon if you want to just jump to the latest since Like a Dragon has a new cast. Like a Dragon, I've been watching streams of, and it looks real fucking fun. And I have um, Zero and Kiwami because they were in a bundle. Yeah, it, it sucks. It fucking sucks. Because when they hit that point where it's like, okay, culture's maxed, hunting's good. Once I get all my shops squared away, at that point, they're safe. But until I get my shops done, I ain't got no choice. Hmm. Let's see what we get. I just wanted to see Ray's casting animation because I never get to see it. I never noticed that Ray's eyes actually light up. You have however, like, however much day you can fit into one fucking disc. One village, one wave. Yep, and I was gonna say that causes confusion. So we got the Ray Dragon. Yo, don't touch me! Oh no, don't land, don't land, don't land! Okay, good, it didn't land. Some fucking Spartan shit. Hey, Moral, hey, uh, Moral Clumpkin. Moral Clumpin. How you doing? Oh, that she gave him all Night Night Nuggets. Was like, you thought, bitch, shut up. Y'all not assassinating anybody. Whoa! In case he doesn't die, and if he does die, we're ready. Contact. All right, there we go. Wait, clothing? Motherfucker, I can't use that. The headbutt. And we finally have XP that's worth a shit. A regular fight is 300 XP. Let's fucking go, kids. And we're gonna spend the next 15 just kind of hanging out and uh, grinding it out. So we can get some people caught up. Let's go. Hi, Simon. You already had camera time. You can't have more camera time. No. 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 Oh, that's not okay at all. Mm. Don't like that. Let's just start working on it. Dear diary, my food dish is Hang on one second. It is obvious that I will soon starve to death. No, no, thank you. Uh, uh, G, we're gonna say G. Thank you so much for joining the channel. I hope you're having a good Saturday. You hear that? You want some treats? Okay, we'll get you some treats. Uh, but first, mommy has to set up everybody for death. Um, that's not useful. Um, yep, I'm gonna need to do magic on them. I don't have a choice. Ooh, they don't get confused. Nice. Uh oh. Hang on. Hang on a second, Stinky. He's all climbing up here. Alright, so that's not useful. Let's see how bad they do. Thunderclap. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts pretty good. Ah, Alright. Hang on, we're gonna switch to IRL so y'all can see. Yep. I was like, please chew. Don't just inhale. Y'all, it's right there. He dropped it like a jackass. Okay, nope, nope, it's right there. Ow! You good? This is my thumb. Ow! That's my thumb, you imbecile! God damn! Jesus! You can't discern a treat from a thumb? Are you good? This is your last attempt, and I'm getting your brother. Thank you. God damn! He bit the shit out of my thumb! Being like, oh, this is a treat. No, bitch, that's my thumb. 
goofy? You goofy? God damn! All right, we're getting the dragons. Fuck, that actually hurt a little bit. Yeah, let's do the hybrid again. Ay vey. Oh! You just scared the shit out of me. Oh! What is this? Oh! I know what those are. Okay. Only way to be sure, bite it. Oh, that drew blood! My cat actually drew blood out of my thumb. Jerk? Fucking jerk? I want to keep that confused. Ow. Why do cats choose violet when it comes to treat? I don't fucking know. My thumb hurts. I know that much. Jesus. Doesn't matter. I got mail out of it. Haha! -ha! Miss. He literally tried to eat my thumb. He did. It sucked. It sucked a lot. That hurt like shit. Momo, you're gonna die. Oh, she's really gonna die. Oh no, that animation when he gets hit. I need to figure out what they're weak to. Ha! <laughs> I forgot he had that on. Cats predators, they're used to killing their food. Well, they can't kill their humans! That is not the cash money play. Not acceptable. Alright, what we got here? Alright, we can get rid of it that way. And that's, uh, oh, it's not free, but I'm willing to take the hit. Uh, he might not get it in time, so that's fine. You happy you remember to buy it and then you eat it? What's the point here? Where's the logic? Oh no. Momo gonna die. Momo gonna die. Oh, she didn't die. But we're all about to die. So we're gonna be leaving. We're leaving. If that's cool. Goodbye, everyone. We're gonna take a fucking nap in this bitch. Hmm, I have to figure out how to get through tank bots. Astro teleports behind enemy. Nothing personal, kid. Not thrown yeet. I was like, sir, don't yeet the things we want. Yeah, it drops you to 1 HP. I was gonna say, yeah, it dropped all of us to 1 HP. So she was, it's a guaranteed 1 HP. So if they sacrifice in the middle of combat and there's other enemies, that's absolutely reason to be terrified. But yeah, we have actual things that want to kill us now. We have actual things that want to kill us now. Um, we are gonna do one thing. Let's showcase one final dragon, yeah? And then apparently the boy is home, so uh, I'll be getting off of here. The overall thing got some real good jazz energy to it. Uh, level cap is 99. That's not a spoiler at all. Level cap is 99. But I will say... As someone selling boy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining us. Um, level cap is 99, but I will let you know, getting 299 in this game is a lot TM. Once you start getting into like the 50s or so, it starts getting really difficult trying to level up a lot. Genuinely and truly. Just because you don't have a lot of things that give you more HP than what I'm currently dealing with. So this area has a lot of high HP, um, high XP enemies. And then um, the final dungeon of the game has high XP enemies. We might be able to get through this. We're gonna try. Oh yeah, we can get through that. Don't touch me. Oh, but I do need to do uh, one thing. Huh? M oh my god. Oh, we have to play a little bit longer. Bobby! Can I go till 6? I just got raided. 
Okay, cool. We're going till six. <laughs> Monkeyisms, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Hello, everyone from Monkeyism stream. I am pleasantly twisted. <laughs> I'm a black queer content creator. I do try hard games, RPGs, challenge runs, speed runs, and sometimes I write about video games too. Uh, we're gonna extend streams since Monkeyism has been so generous with bringing their community over to ours, and we appreciate you always for that. How are you? How was your stream? Or what were you chatting about today? What were you chatting about? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Love and affection, please. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much, everyone, for the follows. I appreciate it. I need to go to forms. Yeah, this is what's getting us fucked up. Oh my god, I watched a translated video of French Canadian man owning an out. Have many questions thank you so much for the gift subs as well but I just have I have several questions French I haven't really played JRPGs in ages <laughs> oh, I haven't played JRPG in ages the last one I got to play properly was Final Fantasy 9 I picked up Xenoblade Chronicles but our TV was too shit to play it on properly and then it got left in the back of a cupboard Wait, what? What? I was saying earlier, there's only one thing a general sense a player might want to grind off for. Hang on. There's only one thing that, in a general sense, a player might want to grind for, and even then, it doesn't take that level cap to hit it. Yeah, exactly. 99 is the level cap, but once you hit around the 50s, it starts tapering off real fucking fast. So, if you want to get to 99, it's it, you can do it. You are just going to be here a while. You're going to be here a while. Um, okay, I'm gonna dip, eat sushi. Oh my god, the sushi conversation is back. Enjoy your sushi. Have a good rest of your evening. Thank you so much for the raid. Really got me in the mood for some JRPGs, so I got Nino Kuni. JRPGs are great. They're great! Oh no, I'm getting attacked by the cat. No, you attacked me. Fuck off. You're rude. Rude, mean, unkempt, uncalled for. What is the deal with this? Oh, shit. Um. Um. Let's see. Oh! Okay, yeah. That's, that's actually kind of sort of work. I can do that. I can make that happen. My, my stylist messaged me. I thought she was about to cancel on me, and I was like, oh my god. We're gonna do this song and dance again. It is not a cancel. She actually sent one of her clients after my channel that subbed yesterday. So now they're being, they're asking me if possibly I could uh, point them to some more black girl streamers. And yes, I can do that. I just don't know who the person is. All right, we're gonna see if the silver mail was worthwhile. All right, for level 99, grind is just to say you did it. Yeah, literally. Quite fucking literally, that's all it's there for. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, there's... But there's quite literally no value to hitting 99 in this game. Just to say that you did it. I still want to play Tactics someday, because I love the go hard to, uh, and attack to uh, and dethrone God. Are you talking about Final Fantasy Tactics? Tactics Advance? Which one are you talking about? Final Fantasy Tactics is a great game. Great game. And the way that they intertwine your goal of dethroning and killing God is uh, really, really cool, I think. In my opinion. In my opinion. This is my opinion. I never got to own it myself. My cousin did. I have it on my PSP, and I need to find my charge cord for my PSP. What was I about to do? What did I say I was going to do, team? I was relieved when I finally found black femme streamers. I kept getting white girls only on my recommended. Yeah, the recommended algorithm is a thing, a thing. I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna check that mail. Uh, 
No, it's not great. It's good for her, though. I like that shit. Baby, what are you doing? Alright, so... We might have two more people that can wear it. Who lied to you and I can fight them? I was told Tax Advance was a port years ago. It turned out it wasn't. I couldn't quite get into it. I really don't like the PSP version of Final Fantasy Tactics. Major slowdown issues, the script, while more grammatically correct, is not nearly as good. See, I wouldn't know because I never actually beat it on the PS1. I'm, I will actively admit and concede that I am not a real gamer because I never did it on PS1. The port was for PSP. Yeah, I was gonna say, but whoever told you that, they lied. Real bad. Oh, fuck this dude. Punch him. No, you bit me. Fuck off. Oh, god damn it! Don't hit! Fucking hit everybody. But I do get XP for it, even though I didn't do anything. So there's that. Guess I'll go out and sleep again. And this is my payback. As SJ is probably sitting there cackling about. This is my payback for doing so well through the entire fucking game. Now I'm in the area where it's like, no, fuck you. Fuck you with a spork. How dare you come through here and just beat us up without using dragons for the entire goddamn game. I was saying I was going to show everyone another dragon. Which one do I want to show? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. The Myrmidon and... Oh, I can show off a couple of dragons. All right, let's go. What my archival friends are telling me took a lot of more progressive anti-bougie leftist dialogue out. Oh, really? Really? That's not okay. Mm, that's not ideal. Alright, let's do some more dragons. Let's do some more dragons, because we can do a few other things. And then I need to check my genes anyway to see what I'm missing at this point. Okay, so we're missing Radiance, along with Kaiser and Failure. Which, that tracks. That means I have almost everything else in the world. Cool. Um, so let's do... Oh, we haven't done a wildfire, which is a miracle, a thorn, and reverse. Now, this is interesting because a miracle gene is actually the behemoth, but you're putting a reverse on the behemoth. So naturally, that means it's going to be small. Rude. Don't touch me. Oh, no, don't hit! Don't hit! Don't hit! It hit. Fuck. But it's not as cute as the pygmy. It's not as cute as the pygmy. It's pretty much the whelp but gold. Yeah, disembowel does that. That's the whole purpose of disembowel. So yeah. It's a special one, but it's actually not that great. So, you know. Oh, I won't be that bold. Here, take some vitamins. Get this man some milk. Don't hit him. You motherfucker. Oh good, we're not, we're not gonna take the penalty. Wait, what am I doing? I can just raise you. Get up. All right, we're good. <laughs> that man left as soon as the cat got back up. I'm so irritated. Capcom hates you. <laughs> Bye, Undead. Thank you for hanging out, Undead. I appreciate you. And I hope the whole thing with 
Twitch gets better and not whatever bullshit they gave you. That, I just, wow. Wow, we wow. All right, let's do another one. Let's do that. That man said, yeet. <laughs> It just left. This one takes up the entire party as well. But it's very cool to look at. I love that it's just wrapped around itself, and there's no idea if there's legs or anything. It's just there. The thing is, the Tiamat is cool to look at, but a lot of the stuff it can do is not great. But it's really dope to look at. Okay, that works. I was actually expecting that not to work, but that's fine. You fusion with the party? Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily with the party so much as it is um, because the dragon is so large, the rest of the party stands down. Oh, perfect. I can show another dragon then. Um, let's see. Force trance in reverse. Force, reverse, and trance. And then we're going to head out of it after this because we need an AP refill. Although I might accidentally kill it. Don't hurt the purple bot. No, fuck that purple bot. It hits. So this one looks like the warrior, but it's actually special. The color palette dope. I thought I heard trans. And I'm like, the color palette dope, though. Yep. The Myrmidon, I think, has um all the elemental strikes on deck. On purpose. It's built like that. Alright, let's get out of here because I'm too oom. Um, how close are you to leveling? Fuck. Yeah, let's get out of here. And let's actually go do some, um, stuff. I'm gonna save. Oh yeah, the Myrmidon. Myrmidon's dope. The Myrmidon is arguably one of the best splicings you can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, skip for those purple robots. They beat me up. They rude. Only missing the shadow one from what Google says. Mm hmm So yeah, it'll cover every element. It's not breath. It's all claw attacks. So you can actually have that nice melee elemental attack that's really busted. The problem with the Myrmidon is that it is an always oh, so AP hungry. Real AP hungry. So, hmm, do we want to progress the game? Hmm. I think we have to go through here anyway. We have to go through here anyway. Question for you, what kind of build you use it for Ryu? I'm not familiar with these games, but the mentors, it sounds like you can be extra fighty or magic based and things like that. Um, so I out the gate immediately paired him with Bunyan, which is kind of like a an HP that's more of an HP and defensive style build. And then I put him with Mary Leap, who is focused on agility and speed. And so he is much of a he is to put it very plainly, he's a bruiser style. He's a fast bruiser style fighter. I like using him as a bruiser because it allows me to have someone right out the gate that can absorb a lot of damage and also put out good damage as well. Because if you try to push him into the magic route right away, it kind of gets wonky. As a reminder for those in a chat that may not know, the more genes are spliced into a dragon form, the more AP it costs to both turn it into an, and maintain it. Yeah, it literally, it's, it's so AP hungry.
I gave you Shadow Walk. I gave you Shadow Walk. God damn, the defense though. Get out of here. I think that's blind. Yep, it is. Oh god, it hit everybody. Um, yes and no, Kellum. Yes, because they put out big damage really fast, and that's obviously very useful. No, because if you don't crank out enough damage fast enough, it'll just suck through all your AP. And as soon as you can't pay the cost in order to do... Excuse me. As soon as you're unable to pay the cost to maintain your build, you'll just instantaneously fall out. So you'll run out of AP, and you'll still have a boss standing there in front of you, just like... So... It's definitely something that, um, you use it sparingly on purpose. Yeah, it's risky. Goddamn, y'all all got fucked up? Seriously? Actually, we might be able to do a couple of things at once. Now, you should have... You do have remedy. Cause you can't fucking hit the broad side of a barn anyway. At least put some deeps out. Nice. And we should be able to get through it now and just run them down. Should. Okay, good, that was low. Certain combinations, but particularly, <clears throat> is especially intensive and of debatable use if you're really risk averse. I know which form you're talking about. And the thing is, even though it has like cool stuff, and it has a lot of like really fun things attached to it, it doesn't change the fact that like, it's so AP hungry. So AP hungry. Ryu also has meaningful things he can do with his AP, so you're doing a cost-benefit analysis between Dragon Power and his normal uh, utility, and that's the other big issue with the conversation, is the fact that Ryu out the gate can do things like heal your party, any skills that he has from Masters, he has access to those as well. So you're going to be using AP for big boom tactics, but you're also going to be pulling away from your healing pool and other things at the same time. So it's super, super, like, have to think about how you want to handle it. Fuck you. This system for all those weights is a lot more to my liking than Breath of Fire 2's. Yeah, it gives you it gives you a lot of opportunity to really push and pull how you want your characters to go. And that's kind of why I said at the very beginning of everything with the master conversation that you have to be very careful still with the master setup because you can fuck around and find out. Like if you try to do something and you change your mind midway and it's like too far gone, like, let's say I wanted to start out Ryu, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make him a caster build. And then in his, like, 15, 20s or so, I changed my mind. I've already, like, nuked a bunch of his HP, I've already nuked a bunch of his power, I've already nuked a bunch of his defense, and now it's all been dumped into magic, and I don't want to do that anymore. So you have to really, really think about how you want to build your character. And on the first playthrough, it's 100% expected that you're not going to get it correct the first time around because, you know, that's what experimenting does. But then once you get a, like, a hand on everything and you start thinking about how everyone operates, it becomes a lot easier to get through and handle. Is that new ink? It's, um, I got scared. It's, um, it's a touch up. I've had this since maybe a couple months now but um it's a touch up because it when it healed over it healed over well enough tm but it still came through kind of blotchy and so he went ahead and touched it up and that's why i'm like doing my lotion and everything um...
I'm actually going to back up a little bit. So hell yeah, guys, as you were saying earlier, yeah. Again, people who try to come through and they're just like, oh, I made a busted build without any help. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That was weird. That sounds very hard if you're doing it whole because you don't know the whole cast and who does what. So definitely a game that might be very punishing to folks when it was new. And that's the thing too. So like Momo was a perfect example of that exact conversation. Because even though Momo is really good on the front lines as an attacker, if you look at her raw stats, she still is going to be your second best caster in the game. She's not going to be a Nina by any stretch of the definition, but she still can carry like a casting setup if you really wanted her to. If you absolutely wanted her to, she can do that. And she is designed to do that. But you would have to be knowledgeable of Momo and aware of the fact that she can do that type of stuff. And then you'd have to be willing to out the gate. Thank you so much, Mermaid. You have to be willing to out the gate, take her down that route. And I'm almost, I think I'm out of water, actually. Oh. Talking about obscure shit in your RPGs, like the signer stuff from earlier, but before I wanted to revel in that fuckery, oh god. Mental preparedness. So yeah, when it comes to the fusions and stuff, or the dragons, it really becomes a cost versus benefit thing, and then you really, really want to think about in the terms of what do you want this to do? Because, like, right now I'm going to do this, but I can use stuff to make this much more worth my time. Because this hits harder than anyone else in my party. Oh, it missed. Oh, well. Although they're defending, so that's nice. Yeah, like he can actually get through all of their defenses so it's worth it for me to spend the 16 to get through the fight and that doesn't hit my ap so hard that i can't fucking like heal and shit oh man look at all of them xps i'm so happy to have an area to grind in that's going to be like high value because yeah i'll hang out in this area and probably get everyone up into their 30s which means that ryu will be fucking 40 but you know it is what it is Don't land! God, they've been actually hitting those. Let's see if I can hustle out of here. Let's see if I can hustle out of here. Yep, we made it. I just wanna go back to town, I missed something. spot too which is important god damn it I have to go this way it's not here I knew there was something up with that Words. Words. Just randomly gives me a shit. Oh, good. Oh, but see, that's rude. I'm glad I didn't. Okay. That's fine. I know, Ray. Life is very hard right now. Oh! Actually, with it being 5.30, let's go check on the kids. Let's go check on the kids. 
We might be able to buy some stuff. And I might swap out this party. Enchanted Forest Princess, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for joining us. And thank you so much, Phoenix. Echo. Yeah. For actually... Oh, making me stretch. Yeah, my back's doing better now. Earlier, my back was, like, struggling. No death? We got a birth! We got a new room, and we got new merch. Hmm. What are you good at? Oh, it hurts. It hurts all the time. Okay, I just assigned her, so she's gonna have something different here. Um, I don't know if I can purchase any more of your stuff. I'm trying to remember. I'll have to make a grocery list. I'll have to sit on some coins and then figure out how I want to go about this next. Okay, you're new, so you need to stay put. Where is... that's the inn. Is old girl upstairs? Who has three fairies? Hello? What are you? Will you buy my fish? If you can buy my mackerel, that'd be great. Here, take these for damn sure. They fucking suck. Take this. You won't even give me money for that? Well, it is only one, so I guess that's worthless. What's the ivory dice? I don't care about that. Um. Yes, please take my mackerels. I, I literally can't use these. three. You have one. You have one. Oh, I bet you I know where the three is. I know where the three is. Alright, what do you have? So you're just getting started. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That works beautifully because we'll get them situated. So wait, did I miss something? Yep, I know what to do. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we're at that fine point where we're gonna have to start, like, kicking people out. Uh, weapon item, da 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 I'm gonna take one of you off of hunting. No, if Chow dies, I'll fucking fight the world. fish sure how long have he's been in your pocket oh you know <sighs> so these two work in conjunction with one another because they'll bring me back stuff and I can sell things we'll do that and then this literally just doesn't even take anyone's uh, stuff into account and then let's do one more I'm trying to see which one I want to do. Handyman ability. We are going to go ahead and do it. I 
don't know who's in charge here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Here's hoping that we don't get a death. Although with her having maxed out red, she shouldn't have a death. What you doing, SJ? <laughs> Why are you making faces? Is this the landlord simulator? <sighs> like, that's all I can offer is just sitting there and being like... Oh, so it's the same reaction I just had. Actually can change up the people off of building because that's what I was talking about before that's literally what I was talking about before was that once you hit a point where you've built out your entire village because it maxes out of eight rooms and you know for a fact that you have things set up such that you can just go and have like your designated people who feed the city uh, the town and then everyone else just works if they don't have value, you you drop them. Cause otherwise they're just kind of posted. Matter of fact, I have to I'm gonna go back in there and fix that up. I'm gonna fix that up real fast. It's just it's not useful and it's also just inefficient as fuck. And it sucks because you don't want to get rid of fairies. Can't imagine the bulletin boards. Yeah, I've only been gone for a few seconds, so that's not gonna change. Rip, I got sacked. Yeah, so like, they're out of room for houses, so they're gonna go into shops. But literally, the only thing that's, here's, here's exactly what I'm talking about. The people who are only proficient in like, just building, like this person is safe. They can post up and be like, here or here this person like the only things that you use green for is clearing and building and then creating new jobs and stuff like you can do that but beyond that it just it, it gets hard it gets hard Cause like their bars are so low like this person when i say this she is now that the city is done literally useless clearing and building is the green bar building jobs is the light blue bar so once you get to this point all you need is reds and blues and then if you want to re-roll somebody you have to have to have to have to kick someone out can help out here I guess I don't fucking know it just it sucks because there's no way to shuffle them around and it'd be a different thing too if you could have like the option to actually be like hey you're gonna send them to build another city or you know work on a different area and stuff like that but no no we just have to concede defeat and just let them fucking die you're messing up the co-op I'm saying the co-op is all flavors of fucked up. Thanks, bro. Thanks. So I think we're gonna spend the rest of the stream grinding. We're gonna just do some casual grinding. Get some of these people all caught up. Because if we can get them at least to like in their 30s while Astro's gonna be like 36 or whatever the fuck. Make some mental note for his Let's Fire 3 clone. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> yeah, we want 34 Astro, because then shit's gonna get real busted. The problem is we need something with a little bit more bite. And right now, if I had the busted setup, that would be fine. But I don't. And that sucks. 
How are we gonna keep doing this? Oh, I have to do this advanced thing though first. All right, we do have to get the onion for story. What did I win? You got points on the uh, stream avatars thing. I love to read the stories of Breath of Fire as novels or graphic novels or an animated show, honestly. Yeah, that'd be cool. You hear a voice echoing in your heart. Could it be the voice of Yggdrasil? In this enclosed new world created by the goddess, the union of we humble servants of nature became an obstacle. An obstacle to her control. And so I was cut off from the rest. That's all we needed. Yeah, so Yggdrasil is letting you know about how the gods, you know, that's very specific wording. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you you learn about how just asshole these gods are real fucking fast. Real fast, because it starts with Gar being like, did we need to kill dragons? Then it becomes Ray being like, but why can I be a weird tiger? And then Momo's like, but why are all the machines over here? And then Yggdrasil's feels like, yeah, so legit, she like isolated us, and it's kind of, it's kind of shitty. Not gonna front. It's pretty shitty. Yeah. 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 All right, let's go back in here though on purpose. For Breath of Fire 4, maybe a manga for Breath of Fire 1 as a sequel, but I forget. I don't think either was translated into English officially. And it's never fucking translated into English. It fucking sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Is it really? That's amazing. Three thousand XP, uh, SJ. Three thousand XP. This, I'm, oh, oh, I'm so ready. Because this whole area would be a completely different conversation if I had cheese already. I should have just muscled through it. And then I came back after I got that. But, eh, it's more interesting this way. Oh, sweet, she already can't hit. Alright, I stand corrected. Do I just muscle through? Ray is like, I don't care about your blind. Momo's like, I don't care about your blind. You all have me really curious about this cheese. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. But you won't be able to see it until I can get some other things going. Because literally... Astro's XP at this point is a ticking time bomb. It is literally a ticking time bomb. Because as soon as we get it, the game is a wrap. And you'll see why. Actually, I need to check one thing. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I'll take the minus 10. Wait, where do the UV glasses go? I missed the eye and I thought Astro's master said <laughs> just balls. No, no, his master is not balls. It is base. 
Y'all don't even get to see who that is, now that I think about it. So when you get to see it, you're gonna be like, oh my god, really? Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nice miss. Oh no, again! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good miss. God damn it! Fuck, shit, shit, shit. Oh god, third time's a charm. I have to cancel that now. This is too not safe. It's too unsafe. <sighs> Here you go. Three for three, what the fuck is this pattern? Right. Oh, your base are belong to me. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that does, except for just hit her. Oh wow, that actually gave him a full heal. That's nice. This pattern is the payback, um, SJ, for not getting lucky struck yesterday a time. Because I went through that whole fucking fuck you. I went through that whole container without getting a lucky strike once, remember? That's, that's what that is. That's that pattern saying, no, you have so much damage output you were supposed to get bodied with. Fuck you. What is this Shun Goku Satsu shit? Angie game is Angie. I think we just came in here for the item and that's it. Not the game going Ak Akuma. Yeah. Yeah. It Angie. We need more one shots. Yes, one shots. Oh no. Wow, rude! Oh, but you're gonna die. You only got one shot anyway. Ooh, SJ is getting closer. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited! You don't use magic anyway. Here. Fix that man's face, please. Fix his face too while we at it. And it's gonna be exciting because I get to explain what the cheese is. And when people are gonna see what it is, they're gonna be like, Twisted, that's busted. And it's like, I know. That's the best part. One shots. Quality. One shots. No! Oh, okay, that's why. That's the cutest movie I've ever seen. I love the cheese that I'm gonna deploy. It's probably my favorite thing of the entire game because whoever thought of it absolutely is someone, I'll give you some hints. Whoever thought of it is absolutely 100% a fucking speedrunner. I can assure you of that. They are a speedrunner tried and true and was like, I, I just can't with this shit. <laughs> if you've been paying attention to the streams the entire time, you actually had a hint early on in the series of streams. Shit. Oh, nice. One shots all around. Because I've spoken about it to an extent. Is this the beginning? Yes, it is. That's fine. Um, whoopsie. What do I want? No, I'm in good shape. We're good. She says. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to get to it today, so I'll have to I'll have to set it up for Wednesday. Don't touch me. Oh, fuck. You overestimate me if you think I remember anything from before 30 minutes ago. I mean, you've been on the channel long enough. You know, if I said it in 10 seconds past, I'm like, wait, what did I say? I don't remember. I don't recall. You're done. Goodbye, bitch. Yeah, I think I might actually go into this area off stream with uh, everyone else and try to push people to 30. Hmm? Okay, just making sure. Get 
get out of here. Oh no. Alright, that's not bad. If we can get their health down before the time blow hits, we're good. And so now that we've actually gone through this area, we don't have to do it again. So we'll be going in there by choice. So this is now an actual grindable area. Hold. Spidey sense is tingling. Doing a safety dance real quick. Oh, there's a box there. Take a closer look, we can figure it out. Alright. Oh, he still has on that sapping one. Nope, this is fine. This is fine. I had to take a quick glance at it. That man opened up a book and a fucking fist came out. I forget about that every time. Goodbye, sir. so close I hate it he punched you with a book did you not see his fist come out of the book it looks like some kind of machine maybe it has something to do with the room below when reading rainbow brings the thunder literally reading Rain rainbow came through and was like you're gonna get some reading going yeah, I'm gonna be shutting down here in just a moment. I went a little bit longer because we got a raid right at the end of uh, my usual time, and I literally was getting ready to close out, and Monkeyism was just like, no, you're not, and I was like, okay, I'm not. Oh, but look at those numbers moving right on along. Love that. It looks like the same device that was in the basement of Wendia Castle. So if we use this, it looks like we can go anywhere we want. I'm thinking of the container yard. I just realized what was wrong there. I'm thinking of the container yard. I was gonna ask if Raiders caught you. That he caught me. Appropriate name. Can I buy that book? I want to give it to a few people. They open it and it just gives them a fistful of fuck you. For teenagers, which is when I made it. Oh my god. And I seen that Jane. Get out of here. How dare. Oh my gosh. Y'all's HP is not looking great. Let me hit y'all with a revitalize right quick. Just looked up and saw that those bars were empty. 
I forgot there was one here. Yeah, but that's because... And I can spoil that a little bit. That's because it's the one that you need. It's the one that you need that can only be paired with one other one. So you found failure. That means there's two left. Doomsday clock. I know. I know, SJ, it's so close. Hmm? Oh, yikes. Yikes on the bikes, team. These men's are poisoned. Uh, it just worked as a worked as we have a sword user, someone with a big cannon, and one of the ones willing to book with a fist. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. God damn it, you three! Toxic man didn't know Twitch chat was in this game. Whoop! Quality. Damn, that hurts. Mm -mm. Let's just go ahead and pep everyone up some. So this kind of goes back to what we were talking about before with the dragon genes and stuff. Because, like, Ryu is the first person in your entire party that gets Vitalize. And Vitalize is such a fucking strong goddamn move. So strong. Seeing how old this game is, maybe it's Twitch's grandpa. Whoop. How are you alive, sir? What? Hello? How dare you? There we go. I was like, the fuck? What the hell is wrong with y'all? Twitch's grandpa. Oh, I did not know that about X turns. That's cool. Yeah, the X turns always go before a proc of a dot or an auto heal. Every single time, guaranteed. So you can actually get the X turns out before poison damage hits, before refreshers of things hit, stuff like that. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Oh no, there's one of them. take like 900 turns to kill. Am I the only person bothered by this? Hello? That like a door. Oh, that's easy mode. Okay. And I think, unfortunately, we're gonna have to call it here. As much as I hate to. Ooh, we're under 1,000. <sighs> we're under 1,000! Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to call it here, though, because we got till 6. We got till 6, so... Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for all the love, the support, your time, effort, and energies today. Thank you for all of the subs, the gift subs, and everything else. Like I said, if we want to work towards another emote, I can I can tell you it's going to be like literally, it's a couple hundred subs. So I'm just being very, very honest about it, very transparent about it. But if that's something we want for a tier one emote, that's what we have to work towards. So 
any help with that is greatly appreciated. Again, I just don't want people to feel like they're obligated to drop off money. It makes me feel some kind of way. Um, you have all the commercials in the chat and everything. And I, I will be in the process of, I'm going to try and update the merch store this week. I have freelance stuff that I have to push out this week because I actually have people waiting on me and they're waiting on invoices too. And then after we get that up and going, once I get merch store updated, I have two free merch giveaways that I still need to do. I haven't forgotten about those. I just want to wait to do them until I get the merch store updated because I don't want people to win and it's the same old stuff. So let's see who's online. Let's see who's online that we want to go hang out with. Your streams have improved my mental health, no joke. I appreciate you all, thank you so much. Oh, I'm not rating that bitch, no, that answer's no. How dare you, I don't want them on my thing, no. Who's someone we haven't been to in a bit? You're open to a suggestion, that's doing a charity stream? Yeah, that's fine, that works. Who you got? All right, Lady Lady Sephira. I love that name. Hmm? What are you saying oops to? Oh God, why, 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 why? Okay, there we go. I was like, I just want to copy it. There we go. Oh, and they're doing Animal Crossing stuff while they're chatting, it looks like. I can get behind this, let's go. Let's give a hoe. Not give a hoe. Let's go. Dear Lord. Okay, well, anywho, thanks so much, everybody, for hanging out. I appreciate you immensely. Uh, we'll be back. <laughs> We're ready for raid. We'll be back on, um, I know on the couch they said it too, Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, oh, kidding. Jokes. We're going to stream Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I get, I get my hair done Wednesday. So... <laughs> I'll see you all then, and then we're going to talk about the cheese and everything else. So, I will see you all later. Let's go over and give Akila obviously, some love and see what they're talking about with charity. 